Alright, hello, and welcome to today's session of D&D, where inevitably Drew is going to do something to make me look dumb as I go and undeath him. Let's actually just go ahead and find out immediately what the fuck that's going to be. Hello. Hello. What it do? Beep. Um, oh, yeah. I'm already quiet. Um, there we go. Are you, though? I, I don't know. Apparently it was quiet compared to the music, but then again, I did notice the music was kind of fucking loud this time. Um, I didn't turn it down as much as I should have, so that was a yikes. But, uh, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Yikes? As long as it can be heard now, it's fine. Uh-huh. Anyway, yes, anyway, sorry. Yeah, go on. Well, uh, from last we left off, at least to my recollection, you guys encountered a stronghold, more or less, of a religious order that has some questionable morals. Uh, poking around, you found that a shambling mound, which you have made quite watery, is uh, going to kind of just exist. Everyone's kind of vibing. Nothing really happened last episode, except you just gathered some information and locked the door behind you. Yeah, we also nearly got stabbed by a um, woody kind of person. Woody. Oh, well. But, you know. Um... And uh, what are we going to do now? Uh, I mean, I'm going to wait for a bit just by where the flying soul guy is and just see if the others want to come along with. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna wait for a bit, like, you know, just... Can I take a quick look around, like, um... If I was to take a look at the door over here, um, does it seem trapped or locked or anything while I wait? Uh, let me pull up your room real quick. You are three up. It is unlocked. It's unlocked. Can I do a check for traps? Sure. Alrighty. Uh, that's just no roll. That still doesn't fucking... Beth, I'm gonna fucking kill you! <laughs> I, I swear to fucking Christ! I... It took you a while to notice. I... <laughs> <laughs> And you got a one! <laughs> this is what fucking happens, Beth. This is what fucking happens when you do this to me, Beth, okay? I I, I, I can't fucking stand uh -huh. it. I, I don't know yeah. about you. I'm just vibing. It's gonna be a good session. I'm eating oatmeal. Yeah. What the fuck is oatmeal? What the fuck is this door? It's five. You find absolutely no traps on the door. <laughs> Alright, cool. You actually find this kind of concerning, so you set up a trap of your own. Perfect. I put the bear trap on the door. <laughs> you hang the bear trap on the knob. Yep. You don't really think it's gonna do anything, because, you know, now there's a plain-ass bear trap hanging on the knob, but... But it's dark. I mean, it'll fool someone, I bet. Mm -hmm. hmm. With that being done, I'm just gonna wash my face uh, in bath water, I guess. I'm just turning myself up a bit. You... You wash your face in the bath water. A spare hair just makes its way onto your forehead. Because you don't feel things, you don't notice it. Oh. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sort of, uh, washing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's washing. I'm washing. Uh, he's, he's, wa he's, he's you've he's washed. Just, he's just You're washing, real washed. Yeah. Okay. Are you just gonna get naked and fucking like <laughs> belly flop into it? Yes. I was tempted. If no one arrives in five minutes, I will. I'm just gonna wait, like. <clears throat> well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh. Jintar's kind of just vibing in a. Throwaway room. He's still drinking uh, wine. <laughs> Shadar's just drinking with heretics. Yeah, drinking with the heretics. He was always the mad lad of his keep. 
<laughs> you and your zany progressive ideas, you. <laughs> He's just thinking, <laughs> I'm going to slaughter all these people eventually. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, got to get my slaughtering booze going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> slaughtering buzz. Mm. The slaughtering Shut buzz, we'll up. say. Mm. Cave list. Has it been the new minutes? items are about, yeah. Okay, I cannonball into buff naked. Nice. Well not naked actually. I'll you're... keep I'll keep my like you know, like underwear and shirt on. Because they could always oh. probably do a wash. Just you know, coat off and all that. <clears throat> I'm waiting for someone. Stuart walks in. I'm threatened. Blasts <laughs> you in the fucking face. <laughs> There's a cover, okay? <laughs> There's a screen door. <laughs> mm. I'm trying to remember. Did Chimtar go through this door yet? Or was this door ever open? That was this the door was not screaming. opened. That was the one with the screen guy. Oh. I'm gonna go back That's through the portcullis. I'm bored. <laughs> I'm just kind of sipping wine. Is this door open? It is. I leave it open. This door's open. Yep. You walk into the room to find Stuart staring at a door that has been broken a lot. So, what have you found? Nothing. I just followed disturbance in this direction. Disturbance. I didn't want to go any further. Is this a towel over here? This is threatening. Is. Okay, I just put on all my clothes and like dry them off a just bit. Just disturbing. I will investigate. I ready my battle axe. <laughs> I hand you the wine. Oh, thank you. The other clothes are dry, so I basically just give myself a dab down with it and everything else. I, don't, I can't feel it's a bit damp, so it's fine. <sighs> oh, that Prepare is yourself, Hammerdale! What the oh. fuck?! Hey! What's up? <laughs> Fuck are you doing? What does it look like? I'm getting clean. <laughs> he well, is not... clothed. Well, I'm not allowed to be hygienic or anything. Uh, 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 mm. Like, yeah, my hair's a bit wet, but come on. Still me. Is he naked? I'm not naked. He's not naked. Don't <laughs> run. He did say he got dressed, unfortunately. Yeah, I did uh -huh. say that. <laughs> I asked for the wine back. Hey, hey, hey uh, come, come on, what about the flying sword guy? Come on. Thanks. I feel like I was right. <laughs> what? <laughs> From Stuart's angle, all it was was, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the issue is, but, you know, um... Sorry? <laughs> Me? That's just like... No, oh I God, just wasn't... you were so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> just wasn't wow. expecting to see so many scars <laughs> on you. You know? I'm clothed. You didn't see nothing. I, I know. I didn't see anything. Yeah, You're you just a see... completely different species. You're weird to me. <laughs> You're both pretty fucking weird, in fact. You know what? Uh, in, in a good weird. way. We can all be weird, You're, okay? Well, yeah, that's a given. So You're respectively weird. So is the shell weird. removable? Yeah, or... you got a shintar. Like, you know, is that shell like something you can just take off? Like, you know, do you have to like do like a spring clean in it every now and then, like a home or like, you know, what what do you gotta do with that? Does that's it damp and sweaty in there. Yeah, that that's sort of a that's sort of a you know a closed secret that many of my species don't like to reveal. <laughs> Can I do an insight check? <laughs> no, you cannot insight <laughs> check how big Shintar is. <laughs> I want to see how much is Shell and how much is Shintar. <laughs> do an insight check. It's actually just limbs attached. There's no body in there. <laughs> it's an automaton. <laughs> it's, it's four small goblins navigating each limb. Four small turtles na navigating a large turtle. Oh dear. 
Yeah, I just make sure. Anyways, I, I, I'm like, I adjust my coat back on. Since, believe it or not, I'm fully fucking clothed at this point. Like, you know, my my coat's back on and everything. I was like, all right, well anyway, uh, how about we go see this um lion's old guy? See what's up with him, cause uh, that's what the other guys be interested about. Yeah, it's probably not a bad idea. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Maybe they're a bit like me. I mean, you know, I use swords and stuff. <laughs> the, a close kept secret. <laughs> the world may never know. <laughs> so, so would you care to uh, come and investigate with us, sir? Eve, having a bit, my friend. How are you doing? Thank you so much. What? We're investigating some guy with a flying sword, I guess. Okay. <clears throat> ah, that wine sits good. Hmm. Oh yeah, if there's any left here. Uh oh. Oh okay, no, nah, don't worry. Uh right. So they're apparently Did you here. just use his bath water, the sword guy's bath water? No. It's Wait, water. Are you talking to me? Are, are you telling me you bathed in somebody else's filth? But it's water. I'm gonna be sick. This water looks like it was used three times. What do you mean? I just look into water. <laughs> it is it's, certainly not clean. It is cloudy. Actually, huh. um, I start staring at your forehead. I squint my eyes a bit. <laughs> what? Yeah, there is a hair on his forehead. I very, still? with my big ass claw, reach forward and pluck it off of your forehead. And just pull it just pull it off slowly. You don't it even feel anything, but it's just hair. a long hair. Oh yeah, no, that's not mine. Hmm. Oh well. Cheers. And I just I, I just try to flick it back off into the pool water. Just you know. <laughs> <coughs> and then I just what? like brush it off on the front of my shawl. Wait, 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 wait. Ashley, 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 I'm looking at the water. Can I identify the hair? <laughs> sure. <laughs> what do I roll to I This is dumb, but what can I roll to identify as Perception fucking hair? to Perception. try and identify <laughs> bath uh, water what, hair. What would nature fucking <laughs> Where's my nature? I'm insight. Going... Now a question. Is it faith in run dead? <laughs> no. It's waterlogged, dude. <laughs> These are to it's ask. disgusting. That's oh. what it is. <laughs> All right, I got twenty. Yeah, fuck. What's the hair? That's the best roll of the whole fucking <laughs> game so far. To identify a hair. Yes. Welcome to D and D. Well, I hate you. <laughs> I can't believe I touched that with my bare claw. <laughs> it... Considering that the priests and knights seem to have their own bathroom quarters, you can understand that this is not theirs. Mm -hmm. Many of the creatures of this place are either animalistic and thus have little to no knowledge of how to bathe in a water tub. Mm -hmm. The thug seems more preoccupied with getting killed by frogs than bathing. Mm -hmm. So that leaves the warlord in the other room, and, uh, oh, he's bald. Hmm. Do I know what the hair could belong to, though, as a species? Oh, it belongs to human. Okay. But it's human. So that's something, but then again, um... Guy and bear pretty bald, so um, I don't know what you would be around here, but I was uh, going to say, watch out for that door, it's trapped. I was about to say, uh, Shintar isn't paying attention to the hair anymore, he's paying attention to the fact that you hung a bear trap on a doorknob. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it, it's trapped. Uh, like, but honestly, there was no traps <laughs> on it, so I thought, okay, that's a bit fucking weird, but it's an unlocked door with no trap. So I put a trap on just in case someone comes through. It's trapped. I just turned to look at you. So, do you trap the door? Yep. Well, I've done it before. And from which now? direction are they? 
And from which direction exactly are they supposed to come through to spring the trap? Well, I couldn't the get to the other way. side. I couldn't get to the other side of the door. <laughs> Look, I'm I just to uh, what I can, okay. Here, I uh, just walk over. I pick up a towel. I mean, do you want me to like unset it? I can unset it. And then I just throw the towel at the door in hopes of setting off the trap. <laughs> the bear trap slinks around the towel. And then I just turn back and look at you. So you don't mind traps? <laughs> I just walk away. Okay. <laughs> I'll just give up my bear trap. Stuart. Yeah. I feel. <laughs> I feel threatened. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to throw wine at him? <laughs> Who in their right mind would? I've already drunk it. <laughs> I, take him I might throw clean bath water at him just to see if it kills him. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, when Cossack came in, he had pretty greasy hair. Like, Anyway, so... Mm -hmm. Look, like, I'm gonna stand in portcullis. I don't want to stand in the way that sword could immediately stab me through the portcullis, since I know the sword can't get through. So I want to be standing far enough away that I can't, you know, be stabbed. Can I still see him, though? Yeah. Where do I see him? You can see, uh... He's currently resting on the couch. Hey, I think he's sleeping. Swell. So, is the sword sleeping as well? I'm taking a look at the sword. It looks to be completely still. I mean, I could try something, but I don't know if it would work. Knock yourself out. No. No, really. I mean, no, I mean, like, it would probably stab me, if anything. It wouldn't knock me out, but, like, I could try doing a mage hand, you know, like, surely it's just an item, right? I mean, if it's flying, it must be controlled by him, so maybe if I just move it out way somewhere it might get through so you're going to invite the sword in here to slaughter us when he wakes up you know i didn't think that far ahead that's a good point um <laughs> so what should we do with this because obviously there's a portcullis here we could just shoot him a bunch of times with random shit or we could just chat with him since clearly the other guys want him dead or something I has anyone seen out. drake Yeah, Great. he was back at the table eating. Oh. oh, good, good. Right, okay. So... Should we go get him first? Probably not a bad idea. Yeah, but you know, maybe he's enjoying himself, you know? He might be able to take control of the sword. Yes, that's a good point. We need three competent warriors here, so let's go get Drake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, is it that the wrong way? Yeah, uh, it, it's the uh, it's the is other it? It, it's the other way. Um. Oh yeah, that. I'll, I'll just be. I'll be back. Yeah, don't worry. I'll I'll, I'll watch on uh, this guy over here. I'm still thinking about eating that hog. <laughs> <laughs> so, out of curiosity, <clears throat> would I know anything about? Some form of fighter and a flying sword, like from anything that I might know historically, or is it just some like, like arcane kind of person? Oh, I mean, it's a spell sword. Oh, it's just a spell sword. Drake, are you ready okay. to go? The Drake sleepily looks up at you as he's curled up on the bed, all cozy. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy, but the other two need us. You make out what can only be described as a heavy sigh as it gets off the bed. <laughs> yeet yeet. Oh. Exit. Alright. Come on, boy. Pop up. And the official thank you, Guybot1001, for, for the subscription. Do you need I some food before we leave? Friend. Nah. Okay. Don't need. No one's tried taking any of the chests in here, I'm surprised. 
I mean, I, I, well, I don't want you. the people to get mad at me. They're I not took mine. one. Hmm. We'll get to it later. Oh, this way. Ah, uh, only when I know I'm not being seen. Yeah. Actually, what's through this door? This could be an asset. So, I'd like to see if this door is trapped. Okay, hey, right. Perception, that's a plus one. Yeah. The, the door does not appear trapped. If I were to put my head up against the door, can I hear anything? You hear what sounds like child giggling. Oh, fuck that. Nope. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> hey, hand me that bear trap again. <laughs> 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 I'm just looking at the door. I'm like, hey, are you found much? Uh, children. Oh, okay. So it's that's disgusting. Gun. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Nasty. Yeah, not really my kind of thing. I'm meant to look after anyway. Um, so what should we do? Here? Should we just like try talking to the guy, or you know, you can try talking to him. Yeah, but like he's sleeping right now, so I don't know if maybe like we should wait until he wakes up, so we can be like, "Yo, what's up?" You know, like we'll jump scare him in the bathroom when he comes in. Yeah, get, how about we gave him a heart attack? <laughs> What? I, I don't know. Everyone hides behind the folding screen. He comes out for a bathroom break. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. Should I wake him up now or later? Like, I'm not good at the whole, like, social etiquette bullshit. Like, if I need something, you should just say, yo, what's up? But I feel like this might need, like, more of an etiquette kind of stuff. Do I look like I profess an etiquette? I, I don't know. He's probably better than me. You're, you're like royal and shit, right? You know, like, you know how to uh, treat people and shit. Sure. Yeah. W would you maybe better, like, chatting to this guy? Like, I don't know, saying, like, hey, you know, we need to chat with you because some guys want to murder you or something. I thought they said they weren't interested in killing him. I thought they said we want to get through here, so they need to deal with him at some point. So what, you're going to do that crazy cult a favor? No, I mean, like, fuck it, we can get him onto our side. Like, we go by him, they don't. Because <laughs> we need to destroy the fucking altar. I mean, if you two want to try and get this heretic on our side, you be my guest. I will have no the, hand in it. Oh, the flying okay. sword snaps to the gate and sticks oh. through. I do. Struck a nerve? The warlord... Uh. The warlord puts the bookmark in the book that he's been reading the whole time <laughs> and sets it down on the table. <laughs> oh, hey, you're awake. I've been awake. Hi. Nice job, jackass. Hi. <laughs> I know we're not going to murder him. It's the other guys who are. Oh yeah, no, uh, I guess I've probably mentioned it right now because uh, I'm here. Uh, yeah, some other guys want to deal with you. I could gather that much. Yeah. I mean, you know, we just want to be cool. <laughs> Can I just sort of take a look at the sword? Like, is the sword itself, like, magical? Or is it just like a normal sword? <laughs> Uh, you could do an Arcana check on it. Um, <clears throat> sure, fuck it. Hey, hey, Drew, is it Faith Angel Undead? No. Fuck. Okay, one, two, three, four. Fourteen? Sword does not appear to be magical. Right. Okay. So, or is this like a deadly kinesis kind of thing, or uh, got his own mind kind of sword? The warlord is very much just ignoring you at this point. 
He's gone back to his book. So the sword's stuck in the portico, right? It's not stuck, it's sticking through. Sticking through. Okay. Specific, specifically so that the hilt is stuck between the two bars. Okay. Um, you can I'm... discern that this is probably for show and not that he mis-aimed. Yeah. As he could most likely put it through vertically and of skewered you in the back, no problems. Yeah. I, I just want to move slightly. Does it sort of move with me, or...? Oh, okay, it's gone back. Um, yeah, he's placed it back on his table. Right. I just looked at everyone, shrug. Well, uh, nowhere to go but right. Listen, if there's children on the other side here, I am basically the opposite of a parent, so I'm just going to warn you. Oh, sure, here, let me ask him. Hey, yo, you got any kids or anything? Because uh, if any one of my friends has kids behind one of these doors... Nope. Okay, go. Cool. Oh wait, nice sword actually. I do quite like it. Don't care. Yeah, I'm just saying, I got a cool sword too. Do you want to <laughs> see it? <laughs> he has completely stopped talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he's busy. All right, Ruben, what's yes. on you? I try opening the door. Just a crack. The door opens. <laughs> well. I kind of... I kind of just poke my head around. Uh, it looks right. like a normal playroom. A little dusty. Hmm. Acts well in here. Yeah, it appears to be. Why don't you go in there and give me a report? All right. Um... <laughs> I want to step in. Immediately, I'm going to do a look around. Anything Fae Fiend or Undead that I can investigate? Because I feel like if it's ghost um, kids, it's probably undead. No, no undead. Undead. Uh, only Fiend. Ah, Fiend. Great. Uh, in fact, I'd like to do an investigation. Or something. All just right. to work out what the fuck's going on in here, I guess. Sure. Um. Yeah, sure. Great. Perfect. I'm sure this can only go well for me. Uh, one moment, two. Um, one, two. I'm just gonna roll no, just, each one plus four. I'm just gesturing to Drake and Stewart. Get, get out of sight! Get out of sight! <laughs> I just rush over about here. Don't worry, I have advantage on this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what is it? I, <laughs> I can't do my fucking job, I can just sort of fucking bath here. Okay. <laughs> this room's completely normal, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Cool. Advantaged? Yep. Two nat ones. This room's completely normal, no weird shit at all, is it? I mean, it's just eerie in here. Yeah, okay. And it's just a bit spooky in there. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's a bit weird, mm -hmm. isn't it? Like, you know, all like dusty, like, you know, children's shit. You do goosebumps, really, like an orphanage. Dusty. So you didn't notice anything else out of the ordinary, like bloodstains or and just dust that seems in. to be misplaced? No. It's a bit no. creepy, isn't it? Like, you know, you got knocked over shit and stuff like that. Hmm. Well, then. Hmm. What can I do with Paladin? Take a move, maybe? Yeah, I was about to say, I wish to invoke Divine Sense, I think. Ah, uh, you're invoking your Divine Sense? 
Mm-hmm. All right. You have invoked your divine senses. Immediately upon doing so, you are overwhelmed with evil energy. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. I see. Close yep. door. I take your bear trap. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I open the bear trap. I hang it on the doorknob and immediately walk away without offering any further context. So you did want the bear trap on the door. Ah, we'll figure <laughs> something else. I'm curious now. <laughs> Before I don't do anything, I'm just gonna like knock on the door like You, uh, you knock on the door? I just do a... <laughs> you hear three soft taps okay. in return. I do it. Like, I want to try and mimic it, just see. Like, hey guys, I got a response. I just want to mimic it. <laughs> All right. You you've mimicked and it once again taps slightly back at you. Hmm. All right, goodbye. I'm, you see, you gotta say goodbye when you do this sort of shit because, uh, you know, like, it can still, like, bring other shit in the world and stuff like that, so, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Nev, there's actually something in there. Um, hmm. Yeah, see, that thing that I sensed in there? Yeah. That's called heresy. <laughs> but not just any heresy. That is, like, fucking uber heresy in there. What do you mean, like, what? Bad shit? Just weird shit? The room is teeming over with the essence of evil. In reflection, could I roll a history check about fiends? About fucking weird ghost kids? Is that possibility? Uh, yeah, go ahead. I swear to god, if I roll more fucking nat ones, I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> so, history check. Fae fiend are undead, yay? It is. Alright, great. It's a plus two. I'm sure this can't get any fucking worse, can it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. shit. Wow. Right, I'm thinking. Well, uh, it certainly. The fuck? Well, not my shit's haunted. <laughs> Um, uh -huh. there we go. Um, so you recount what you know about fiends and their abilities. And really, it delves deeper than what you can recall off the top of your head. Hmm. But they are quite akin to binding themselves to items. Ooh. At least in reserve. Right. Okay. Hey, um, so... But a story, uh, so if there is like some evil fucked up shit in there, it's probably bound to something. Now, the only thing I can't remember is that if you destroy the thing, or if you like, you know, make it nice and stuff like that. That's the only part I can't remember, like whether you burn it or help it. But, there's probably an item in there that is linked to this thing. So in theory, so another we could throw it out of that room, and that room's fine. 
I mean, I don't know about you, but burning it seems to be the most logical course of action. Right, so do you want to, like, bam his item bin, or...? I would probably say just toss that, toss whatever the fuck it is into a bonfire and... I mean, I can do something, I can one-up you, actually. Uh, I'll start getting out a crossbow bolt and getting some tinder on it. Yes. I will proceed to invoke Scion to relieve this particular spirit of its existence. All right, yeah, you're a paladin. You can do some, like, you know, spiritual holy shit, right? All right, something like that, yeah. Yeah, sure, Evan, or here, I'll open up the door for you. Uh, you tell me if you can spot anything, and um, I'll back up with a burning crossbow for you. Hey, yo, Stuart, do you know anything about spiritual shit? No, not really. Okay, Drake, you know much? The Drake looks at you strangely. No? Okay, not a believer. Gotcha. Um, mm. right. Okay, well, or uh, fuck it, let's give it a thing go, because we gotta get through it somehow. I then take out very good battle axe. Let's see, which one was that? Oh yeah, great axe, the plus one thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I found that for you. I, I then to Bruce proceed to invoke, what the fuck was it? Divine Smite upon it. <laughs> Mighty Zion, with your eternal electrical resonance, instrument of the universe, I ask you to give me the can of whoop ass to open upon the ass of this the fiend. Do I open the door now, or? Oh yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah alright, alright, I'll open up the door. I'll just open up the door and stand back. Alright, have at it! I turn around. <laughs> I turn to my right. To my left. The fuck do you go? Is, inside is a very dusty room. Did you get it? I think you got it. You must have, right? Like, all the shit's gone. God damn it, my god isn't that efficient. Can you come in here and check for me? Wait, hold on, I got another idea. Here, coming out, coming out. I got an idea. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here, coming out. Okay. I shut the door. Yeah. Oh wait. You wait? I knock on the door and then wait. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, After mind, a it few sense. minutes. After a few minutes, the pattering returns back. Oh yeah, you see, there you go. Um, hmm, you want to like repeat it or something? Yeah, Shintari, you give it a knock. <coughs> you know, show you mean no harm or something. <laughs> <laughs> we went from focusing on the warlord to just phasmophobia, <laughs> cursed child. Yeah, phasmophobia. I mean, this is what it is, like. <laughs> hey, sure, do you knock on the door, too? No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> we just... I just want to very carefully open the door. You carefully creak the door open. With my electrical radiant axe of smiting. Uh... <laughs> oh, is he very I dumb? immediately, I immediately take note of the doll that has shifted to the uh to the rocking horse. Hey, see you, you fix it. There you go. Oh, that's where the heresy is. Well, time to make a Venetian blind. Wait, what? I just, I just mosey right on over to it, ready to just axe the shit out of it. Oh shit, wait, I meant to say goodbye, or goodbye. The fuck do you mean goodbye? Well, that's what I meant to say when you're doing that spiritual shit, you know? You meant to say, like, goodbye to the thing, or else, you, you know, you need some other greatest shit. Yeah, you know what, you're right about that. What was I thinking? You know, you gotta say goodbye and then do what you need to do. The doors have closed tightly. Wait, what? <laughs> oh no, I'm on the outside. <laughs> Does it just, like, slam my face? By the holy right of Zion, I condemn thee back to the depths from which you came. 
Also, felicitations. Have a nice day. <laughs> Axe is overhand. I make uh, the attempt. You, yeah. You try to hit the doll? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Roll you know, to hit. I'm testing the door. Like, is the door just, like, completely stuck? The door is sealed. It's almost I... as if it was just a painted wall at this point. <laughs> so for the Great Axe, it'd be a 20 plus 6 then for the hit? <laughs> yes, I believe I, so. I just want to go, Stuart, we might have a problem. <laughs> oh, God. Well. Oh, no. <laughs> You hit the doll. <laughs> um, <laughs> it doesn't seem to have liked that. Yeah, that's okay. I don't like the doll very much. Hey, Stu, might have a problem, or the door's kind of gone. Let me just <laughs> let me just see if I can't. Brilliant fucking. It's gonna be some like fucking bad. Uh, there's some fucking. Ah, good. Eh. Eh. Let me let me get oh. this correctly. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no, take your time. You know, dual stuff anyway, so. <laughs> Is Shintar even aware the door is completely fucking sealed in? <laughs> Shintar does not think. care. He's <laughs> cleansing heresy. Oh boy. Oh, it is. This is the kind of shit he's been training for ever since he made it out of that fraternity. <laughs> Don't know where it is. What? <laughs> it escaped Astral Tabletop. Yeah, no, it's uh It is not here. Oh no. Oh. Does that mean I All win? Right. No. <laughs> no, fall from <laughs> far from it. Oh god. Uh let's take let's take this one. It'll, it'll be a quick fix. Oh boy. Just a quick fix, don't worry. Uh-huh. I'm just waiting for something absolutely heinous to fucking show up. <laughs> don't worry, you you you'll be pleasantly. Dude. And then we'll go back here. <laughs> and we'll go here. We'll edit. We'll take. We'll import. Um. God, yeah. <laughs> you. I mean. Oh, yeah. I didn't you, mention it. I guess I didn't mention it was a theme, did I? Hmm. <laughs> Um, Shintar doesn't so need to while care. they're doing that, I <clears throat> want to yeah. try talking to the warlord. <laughs> That's fair. What would you like to say to the warlord? So, uh, what book are you reading, Mr. Warlord? He peers over to you. 101 mushroom recipes. Oh, no. Very yummy. Which one's your favorite so far? Annoying. Cool, cool. All right. <laughs> I have done it. Here you go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're I fucked. chose wall, baby. <laughs> oh, you're fucked. <laughs> oh, God, you're so fucked. I was, I was trying to find the asset for the actual doll that's sitting there, <laughs> but I couldn't find it, so I just had to quickly grab one off of Google. <laughs> and I chose wall, baby. <laughs> Okay, the first thing that immediately comes to mind is who the fuck would haunt a doll? <laughs> like, that just seems impractical. One of the rocking horses, yeah, maybe. You know, you can decapitate people with that, but a doll? What the fuck are you going to do with that? You can tell by the bloody rocking horse over in the corner yeah, that it probably has. Mm. Yeah, so you've already done this right once, you know? <laughs> are you just berating the demon? Did you even do any damage to it yet? <laughs> I mean, the attempt was made, man, you know? <laughs> So for all intents and purposes, you slashed the doll, split it in two, and a giant red mist plumed out of it, and out came the doll. <laughs> so is this like Who a is... Russian doll then, or...? Yeah, so this is like one of those Russian dolls where, you know, you just split it in half and then another one pops out. That or it turns into two. <laughs> yeah. Sure, we'll go with that. Um, that's fun. That's fun. Well, you two are in combat now. Oh, they're rolling initiative. <laughs> it would appear so. Can I try to get this door open, or is that something I can't do yet? <laughs> uh, no. Okay. Uh, so we are going to get rid of you. Acolytes, the dead guy, Stuver, <laughs> Kozak, it's just oh boy. Shintar and the doll. Alright. Roll initiative. <laughs> I have done so earlier. Oh you did? It's an oh, eleven. Oh you got a Oh you got an eleven. And regardless if it's 13 or 20, because it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, fun. Mm -hmm. So it gets to go first. Okay. And fuck it, we're just going to, like, throw a flame at you. Okay. That hit. This... Oh, okay. Yeah, you might want to not be here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> do we hear any- like, do I hear anything from the other side of the door? <laughs> well, you do hear a big thud of an axe hitting. You mm. hear what sounds like a magical whoosh. And then you hear fire smashing into what sounds like turtle. I just like, oh, it's gonna be one of those, huh? Bring it on, motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, Shintar split the doll, I think, and uh, now he's pierced and maybe really badly injured. Um, yeah, this is gonna. Oh wait, actually, hey Ward, I think something funny's happening. If you want to come see, does he guy get his shit kicked in by a doll? The warlord puts his little bookmark back in the book. Places it on the table and starts walking over. <laughs> yeah. He flips a lever and opens the port of cutlass. Yeah, but it was stuck, but uh, here, take a look. I really couldn't fuck give a fuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> In the midst of all this, I wish to lay on hands myself for the rest <laughs> of my health if I can. Yes. This is how I play Skyrim, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> the warlord places a sigil on the wall where the door used to be, and it allows him to enter. Oh. Not you. <laughs> I just look towards Stuart and go, and like, gesture towards like, the portcullis, <laughs> like... <laughs> to you, it appears like he just walked through a wall. Oh, Nate. 
All is right. his room still open? No, the poor <laughs> cutlass shut behind oh, him. Fuck. Am I small enough to sneak through? No. Damn, okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I can't see hidden. Wait, the flying sword gets a different initiative? Mm hmm. Get out of my coffee, oh. you fucking bug. <laughs> right. It is now your turn, Nick. It was not <laughs> snowing, you Nick. Yeah. Oh yeah, there it was. Well, you're fighting this dome, and all of a sudden you see the fucking warlord walking. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like a WWE wrestling match. Fuck it out. You think you can defeat a legion of the legion of the tube? <laughs> oh hey, how's it going? <laughs> Why did you release it? It's heresy. No shit, Sherlock. Your point? It was contained in the doll by me a couple decades ago. <laughs> Why do you think I'm hanging around in the room over there instead of reaping the riches and fucking women over in town? Why didn't you put a fucking sign up? Because I didn't expect giant oversized reptiles to come in and start breaking property. Well, you gotta expect that kind of shit. <laughs> it's a fucking dungeon! You think we're the only mercenaries down here? Is this just a whole turn? I'm an amphibian. <laughs> <laughs> Is this just a whole turn, them arguing about, you know, the contract of, like, you know, the dungeon and the economy? bickering back and forth. <laughs> I'm, I'm just Joel kind of doing some popcorn. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just kind of doing this as I give myself the lay on hands uh, <laughs> using my turn. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's not that I don't understand what you're coming from here. I mean, the order of the tube has also contained entities. That's not a problem. The problem is I sensed evil in here and by rights, I am obligated to kill evil. So, you know, if it's already contained, it would have been nice to know about four minutes ago. Just saying. <laughs> the flying sword. Let me just pull up <laughs> it real quick. Actually, is it in my encounter? It is. Well, thankfully, I don't need to. Let's try and hit it. <laughs> oh, well, that's uh, this that's a good shit one. Creaks really quickly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the flying sword flies at the doll, piercing it through. My bad. I want this button. God. The flying sword pierces through the doll and flings it towards the wall, pinning it there. <laughs> Good shot. Now if, now, if you don't mind, I'd like to get back to my book. And with that, let's see, we need to make a DC saving four. Just out of curiosity. It fails. Hmm. Oh, Andrew. Yes, curiosity. Um, I was going to say, while they're in there, bear in mind I've got dark vision, can I peer through here and see the book that they're reading? They put it on the table, right, with the bookmark. So I'm assuming the book's, like, you know, on its, um, as its face up. Yes. What are they reading, if I could see that? Hold on.
Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, what they are reading mm -hmm. uh, it's actually a book upon sword maneuvers and frightening and bettering one's foe in better combat. Right. Okay. So here is a book about uh, swords and shit and how to be better at them. What do you want to know? Um... Okay. Yeah, I know. I, I don't know what I was expecting there. Like, I don't know, maybe some, like, you know, insight hint, maybe the type of books he might like to read. I mean, Fine. we know what he likes to read. Why don't we get him more books about, you know, swords and shit? <laughs> hey, it's gotta or be like a daily magazine. We could just explain something. the situation and be like, hey, these stupid people want to come kill you. Yeah, I already said that, but he really wasn't interested, you know? Yeah, kinda didn't. <laughs> I, I you didn't I did. talk to him, you were just <clears throat> mumbling to us. Really? I was mumbling? Oh. I was like talking to a whole room. Oh, okay, okay. So the warlord, after pinning the doll, has frightened foe. So now the doll is theoretically frightened. <laughs> um, And it also has cleaved it for... What was the... I think it was like 26 damage? Hey, this is... This is... Oh, and oh no. the warlord's been fireballed in the chest. Oof. You good there? It's nothing new. Yeah, I know. Now, if you wouldn't mind assembling a rite of sealing... We need another item to seal it in. Hmm. That rocking horse over there seems like it'd be a good bet. It was until it blasted through the door the first time. <laughs> huh. All right, well, let me see here. I just opened up on the door. I'm like, you need any help in there? <laughs> hey, do you have any potentially useless stuff that you don't need? Oh uh, shit, right. Uh, I've got a mess kit, I've got crossbow bolts, I've got a bedroll, don't really use that, I've got Dr. Seuss books. You want a book? Yeah, give me that book. Well, I can't get through, so... It's know. a wall. Yeah, I can't get through, yeah. but, uh, you know. Yeah. Is there, a, is there some way to open this wall besides using an axe? I think you did it, right? Or can't you leave? It's a one-way sigil protecting us on the inside. It's not going to get out. We can't get out until this is gone or dead. So unless right. you can make it dead, we need to make it gone. Right. Okay, I'm going to start rummaging through this dresser here. Inside the dresser, you find... Let's find out. Hmm. I wonder how that happened. Inside you find a hand axe. Oh, no. oh. What kind of hand axe? No, just a hand axe. Small hand axe, little hatchet thingy. Oh. I'm just gonna holster that. Alright, I might have found something, but it seems like it would be a really bad idea. But I'm gonna put it on the table. Uh, shit. Is there anything else in this toy chest here? It is, is empty it... as can be. Oh, wait, there's another room. Hold on. <laughs> I really quickly run into this room. You run into the room. It seems to be some sort of a bedroom. A child-sized bed is around there. Uh-huh. All right, and if I were to run around this little thing here... Oh. Cool, another chest. Or a dresser or whatever. I start rummaging through it. Can we also just question why on earth there is a hand axe in a dresser of a child room? Like, are we just gonna glance over that? 
Like, you know, I'm just saying, is that a murder weapon? Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> is it sharpened at the pommel? No. Okay. Opening up the dresser, you find a set of gold rings. Ooh. Do any of them appear to be magical? Uh, no. Okay. They are mundane rings. And then is this just a bedside table here? It is. So there's no drawers or anything like that? <clears throat> uh, no. What about if I were to check under the bed here? Uh, checking under the bed? Yeah, sure. You find nothing. If I were to lift it. I... Yeah? What about using the pillow on the bed? Hmm. That was my next thought, but real quickly, I'm going to check this one last thing. I'm going to want to lift the mattress and see if there's anything hidden under it. Shiny gold coin. I take gold coin. And then I grab the pillow. All right. Okay, found the next best thing to another doll. That. Fuck it. Yeah, man, I don't know. It's either that or the hand axe. All right. And now we have to go through the process of binding a demon. Uh, Swell. You invoke your god, I'll invoke mine. To kick your ass eventually. <laughs> I say it in my breath. In my own head. <laughs> Through a... The, the, the Lord starts uh, muttering down phrases, holding out his hand. It begins to glow. All the normal sci-fi and fantasy bullshit happens. Mm -hmm. And the doll slowly disintegrates into nothingness. And then a pillow is left in its place. The fuck? Great, I really, I really quickly pick up the pillow, run right over to the dresser, toss it in, and shut it. <laughs> oh, it looks like busted off. There, there we go. It's weird, I could fucking get rid of it. <laughs> So after the doll disintegrates and you chuck the pillow in a crate, the doors once again manifest into existence. And everything seems to be fine again. Swell. Ugh. Nothing like containing a little heresy to get you going in the morning. The warlord passes by everyone without a word. Uh, Get him the sword sometime. I just you shut tried. the door behind me. I, I tried, you know, like I'm not gonna tell people kind of thing. You you're better at this stuff. I mean, I think I know what position sure. he's in, and he gives about as much of a shit as I would. So, you know. Yeah, I guess. It seems like we got things pretty under control, so unless you know it's something we can really offer him. Like, put it this way, all we're reading about is, like, swords and shit like that, so... You know. Do I have... Do I have anything to make a quick note? Or, like, a sign or something? You do. Okay, I just... Put a little note on the door. Don't open doll inside or something. Or watch out, killer pillow. 
Killer Pillow. Beware the murder pillow. Beware the murder pillow. So, um, what exactly happened there? Down feather with the sickness. What? Right. So, we're, we're, we're like, you know, is it gone now or what? Did you like get it? Oh, no, it's been contained. Oh, right. Okay. Why? Just like magical kind of like, you know, binding chip? Yes, it was uh, bound to a uh, down feather pillow that I found in another room. Oh, right. Okay. Or, so, wait, hold on. Like, I'm going to think back a bit. Would I recognize any of those sigils at all? Like, from any of my shit, being Blood Hunter stuff, or at all, any mm, familiarity? No. Or, okay. Yeah, and I got no idea who the fuck that guy is. No. Fair enough. Um, I need to do a thing because someone, <laughs> for some reason, has just redeemed a point. What? Oh, no. Yeah, what happened? Can... They've redeemed a thing where um I run an ad. I fuck it. <laughs> um <laughs> Alright, quickly, let's let's do all the important stuff right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's be run through it. Hold on, I need to see how long this actually goes on for. Give me a fucking like I have done this before, so how 30 seconds. Alright, you got 30 seconds, okay? Alright, so the warlord <laughs> has disappeared off of his couch and begins heating his sword in the flames of his heart. Mm -hmm. uh, upon doing so, the now red hot sword flies over through, and uh, now you guys are fighting a sword. Okay. All right. Is this because I said let's train? <laughs> eh, fuck. No, he legitimately just wants you guys dead since you're oh. not leaving. Okay. Fair enough. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. And get rid of Doc. <laughs> mm. yeah. Well, right. there we go. All right. I is it initiative time now? Yes. Roll your initiatives. Already. Oh, swell. Uh, what's my initiative? It's a plus three. Okay, so it's a D twenty plus three. Fucking hell, I can't roll anything good! Nice. Oh, shit. Did, did anyone see my roll? Uh, I don't see it, no. Huh. Weird. Mine's not showing up either. Okay, hold on. Mine's mine's currently showing up as an 8 as well that you rolled, but I guess I can't use that. <laughs> so, fuck. Correct. Oh, yeah, no, you have to roll it manually, unfortunately. Um, bear in mind. <sighs> I, I mean, did yeah, roll it manually. Oh, really? I was about to say, so did I. It's just oh, not shit. working for us. Okay. Yeah, it's not, my message isn't going through. Right. Hmm. Maybe try refreshing? Okay. That's what you yeah. Are. With Ashley's been fucking up on this for a while now. <laughs> oh, there you go. That worked. <laughs> there we go. Oh god, we are rolling shit. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> huh? I was trying to do another V. <laughs> There's my initiative roll. Guess it, but All right, cool. That's how you do it, huh? Huh, that's neat. <laughs> All right. Ah, that's how you do that. Okay. <laughs> so it is your turn, Nick. Did the lay on hands I tried to do earlier do anything? I still see I've got eight health. Oh, yes. Uh, how much did you restore? I tried to restore all of it if I could. How much land hand do you have? You have ten. 
I can settle for 18. The only two beings here I really feel like protecting are both Drake and Stuart, because I figure Stuart can kill me and Drake is just nice. Oh. I like that. Kosak has technically done nothing wrong, and everyone's just I'm like, just yeah, fuck dumb. that guy. I'm just not wise. I'm only smart <laughs> in certain times, okay? I can't help being dumb bitch juice. <laughs> I mean well. <laughs> when I was but a baby, my mom could not afford formula. She gave me dumb bitch juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, not even my mother showed up. He's basically one level away from Zoidberg. <laughs> when I it's was also born, both it's... my mom and dad were gone. Yeah. It's also impossible Go ahead. <laughs> Oh no, I don't think anything's going on. I think it was just you. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Yeah. I'm not saying it's waiting for fucking Blood Hunter, man. Come on. Okay, what are we doing? What are you doing, Nick? What are you smiting? What are you shooting? Mm, let's see. Well, we're fighting pretty much a sword. Yes. So, if I fight with another sword, nothing would happen. This is an interesting situation. How do you hurt swords? Hmm. Is this sort of creature? No. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see. Barbarian things, paladin things. Divine Smite, great weapon fighting. I mean, this is literally just like a medium-sized flying sword versus a heavy dude, so... Hmm. Hmm. That's a good question. You could break it, technically. I mean, I guess, yeah. I guess I could try stabbing it with a smaller sword. How do you stab a sword? What I don't know. flesh do you rend? I don't know. Handle? Handle's got to be leather. Closest thing to flesh you can find on it. I don't know. I try a whacking sword. Alright. You can try to whack. Roll for smack. Smack! No. Our rolls are terrible. Oh my god. Like, we are actually yep. having the worst fucking rolls. <laughs> Alright. Now it gets to whack smack. Great. Oh god. We're gonna go after the pale fleshy one. Uh, uh. What was your, uh... 16? Maybe? Six, okay. Yeah, 16. That means it misses. Oh no. Blink. You just see a tiny bit of steam come off. Alright. Hmm. The word's turn. So it's not a creature. It is not. Damn. Damn. Okay. So it can't talk or anything. It's just a sword, a plain normal sword that's being manipulated. By someone. The language is listed as two ellipses. Hmm. Alright. Um, I want to cast... It'll be fine. I want to cast Mage Hand. I want to try to grab the sword. I... Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I go for it? How does one 
combat mage hand. What check would I use to just grab flying sword? Mm hmm. I don't know, a police check? Is that a I mean, the flying sword has to be controlled by something already, so... Yeah. I guess it's almost like a grapple check, like trying to disarm, so to speak. But, you know, yeah. just an instant disarm. I mean, you're doing it the smart way. I was going to do it the dumb way. I had three different plans. <laughs> and this is the one I'm going with. Yeah. My time was the grapple too, but not with me, Chand. Were you just going to try and grab it? Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh my god. What's the worst that can happen? It's either I get a sword or I get it's stabbed a bit. It's on fire. It's hot. Yeah, but not Chaos, the handle. It's hot. <laughs> is the handle hot? Uh, is the handle hot? Honey. <laughs> But like, because like, like, I got some calloused fucking hands, I doubt it's getting through. <laughs> if anyone can hold something hot, it's gonna be Cossack. <laughs> like, look, what I'm saying is that not seeing my HP has has given me a new lease on life. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't I... know if I'm very close to death right now. <laughs> I. It's. <laughs> yes, Bubble. How would. This is perplexing. <laughs> it is a magically animated, otherwise mundane flying sword. I guess, yeah, I guess you grab the sword with your mage hand. Yay! <laughs> Do I now have sword? Nice. So, <laughs> theoretically, in the rules of mage hand, you use your action to control it. You can use the hand to manipulate an object, open unlocked doors or containers, stow and retrieve items from an open container, pour the contents of a vial. You can move it up to 30 feet. <laughs> Each time you use it, it cannot attack, activate magic items, or carry more than 10 pounds. Ooh, so as long as you don't try to swing the sword, <laughs> as that would be an attack... You theoretically have obtained sword, yes. Nice. I want to take sword and from 30 feet, I want to put it into the bath, removing it from the line of sight of the warlord and yeah. also cooling it off. Oh, this could, oh, this is actually really good. This is actually make it bristle. Ooh, as well, well done. And I'll move with it too. Yeah, this, this could also make it bristle here. as well because of blacksmithing and things like that, rapidly cooling it down move here and so it'll be like right here that's why i use oil to you know um deal with things like this or else you know with water it can cause the blade to be bristly did i win did i do it <laughs> i mean you've placed have you dispelled your mage hand no me mage hand sword have walked over there and now they're both in the water. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Did this motherfucker just blink? <laughs> he blinked, didn't he? I repeat. <laughs> he just blinked, didn't he? You weren't in this fight. You go away. <laughs> Why well, you want to be a part of this? He said he sold out. Hippity hoppity. The sword is my property. The sword is my property. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
So the Flying Sword may be slightly out of commission so long as you keep that mage hand down. I also have another idea involving it. <laughs> but, um... The Warlord doesn't use that. He uses his giant fuck-off sword. Oh, boy. Oh. You be careful, I'll mage hand that too. <laughs> I've got a mage hand too. <laughs> Two of us know mage hand. Uh, I hit things. <laughs> I hit things too. Yeah, two mage hands, you're defenseless. Eat it. <laughs> it's like an extra person with arms. Well, uh, continuing on, the, uh, Let's see, if we're going by then, then it's Drake's turn. Drake! Oh, can I... Move. I, I've got a really dumb idea. Go for it. What's your idea? Can we give the sword to Drake? I was going to say, Drake, break it. <laughs> like, as in, like, basically jump on the flat side of the sword. So, you know, like, you're hearing, like, you know, the yeah. smooth side. It's gonna be brittle, bear in mind, you basically just instantly caught it in water. That's a really dumb idea from the Warlord. I don't know, can, can a Drake basically just, like, throw it on the sword? Hmm. That's what's going on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just having okay. my head. You know, like that video of like um, a, a dog chasing a ball, and it just cuts like a toy dog being thrown at like paper cups. Has anyone ever seen that video? No. <laughs> it's just like one of those things. I was like, "Hey, fetch!" I mean, it's just like the dog, like I mean, it's just like a toy dog being thrown, like at the same like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh Imagine yeah. That, that but just with Drake against a sword. <laughs> <laughs> just full basketball against the fat side. So you want to try and... I want to ask Drake to basically put their entire body mass into breaking that sword on its flat side. Basically shattering the sword into into two halves. Well... Is that possible? Okay, well you don't, you don't have the sword, nor is it anywhere near Drake for him no, to no. smash it. No, don't worry then. Sorry. But go on. What are you doing? How do you come back to um, Warlord? Okay, let me check something since um, I have stuff I can use and things. Um, so, let me just double check something. Um, it's, it's a spell. It's a bone section. Okay. Um, now, hear me out here. How can I charge up to a Warlord? <laughs> Yeah, you can try. Okay, uh, what I want to do, because I have no regard for my own safety, first off, as a bonus action, cast Hex on him. Mm -hmm. uh, and basically what I'm going to be doing with that is uh, making sure that um, the um, strength, that the uh, check that they cannot make is a strength check. And then I would like to grapple them. Oh. So I'm basically going to, like, as I'm running towards them, I just cast up my hand, like, FUCK YOU! And I'm just gonna like try and like rugby tackle him. Okay. Can I do that? <laughs> uh, let me make sure. Yep. Give me just one second, Fox. Yep, don't worry. He looks like a strong guy, but maybe not quite as dexterous. So, heck. Let me grab that real quick. Disadvantage. Okay. Yeah, so disadvantage on strength checks. So okay. that's my first level thing. Gotcha. Uh, so now a hex goes onto him. He is now hexed, and they just look a little bit necroticky. Uh, maybe his skin's a little bit saggy, and uh, I'm just going to rugby tackle him and try to grapple him. 
Uh, so that means you have to make your strength save. I need to do a strength athletics check, and you need to do either a strength athletics or a dexterity acrobatics. Yes. But obviously, if you use strength, then um, that is at disadvantage. No, oh, I can't roll it with that thing, so... Now, I really hope I roll well. Fuck. <laughs> uh, but it's a 20. Nice. Wait, isn't that, wait, isn't that good though? I rolled a thirteen. It's still good. It could have been better. Oh, but yeah, but you got a fucking plus seven. Yeah, I'm like, here's the thing: Cosmic is fucking strong. Cosmic is built different. <laughs> He's the built stupid. Talent. Yeah. <laughs> They are functionally the assembled yeah. in a Hold on, why do you have a fucking 20 for your strength? You're a uh, spellcaster. I know. I, actually, I'm a sword hitter with intelligence. I don't have wisdom, but I have intelligence. I don't know how to apply built it. Built stupid. <laughs> I am built dysfunctional, but brutish. But yeah, being an Asmar, it gave me a plus one, so from my uh, 17, it turned up to an 18. And then I just... No, wait, sorry, I think I got an 18 and it turned up to a 19, since I got fucking three sixes as my, like, one of my rolls. I was like, okay, that's going to strength. So I knew I was going to use that, but yeah. So, I got a 20. Um, you need to roll nice. a save, either at disadvantage or with a dex save as normal. Well, dex ac acrobatics. Nice. Well, uh, the Warlord has Indomitable, and he rolled a 23. So you have simply ran into him. Okay. He's hex. You did give him a good shove, though. Yep. You almost got him. Is he at least surprised? <laughs> he is... Yes, I'll give you that he is surprised by this small lad's strength. <laughs> I just look at him and go, are you proud of me? Just Anna, look just up cool. to him. Are you proud of me, Daddy? <laughs> I know you're doing this shit. I want to see if I can actually do it. Like, are you proud? D three hundred cringe save. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you winning, son? <laughs> oh wait, he's hexed. Yeah, he's hexed with the knowledge. <laughs> that's the hex idea. Anyways, like, that's are good. you proud of me, Daddy? I'm sorry. Well, stream, you can clip that and hold yeah, it over Chaos's hand. That. No, Jesus is unwell. It's fine. <laughs> Jesus just said I'm feeling pretty ill. Might be back later. I'm safe. All right, hold on. I'll go clip it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you did give him a rather good shove. He is surprised by that good stuff. Okay. And uh, do you have any other actions you can use? My bone section was the uh, hex, so that is it. The hex, yeah. And then, obviously, and I did okay. grapple, so, yeah. Yes. Okay, let me just pull up the initiative tracker here. Uh, oh, it's his turn! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm right. in danger. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're all in danger. I'm in danger. <laughs> Uh, okay. Huh. Huh? Sure. <laughs> Ouchie. Oh, no. Uh, let me just reference you for real. Mm-hmm. Let's go up here. Oh, Lord. Yeah. And he really should have gotten healed. <laughs> I didn't we took So the rest. Warlord hits you with his great sword two times, dealing 22 gambage. Hmm. Uh, you, considering the state that you were in, have been... Done it. You've been macerated like a magic bullet. Great. Um, you have fallen. Okay. You do not pass go. Okay. And it's Shintar's turn. Uh, sounds about right. 
Okay. Well, listen, man, you were pretty helpful beforehand. I thank you for that. But, uh, you know, you decided to attack us. So uh, prepare to become the result of heresy. I whack with great axe. <laughs> mm -hmm. I made to click chaos. Great. Thanks. Are you? Are you? Are you proud? Are you proud of me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is this image of my age in the middle? Uh. <laughs> mm. I sense scheming. <laughs> no, um, he had to go do something super quick. Oh, okay. That's cool. <clears throat> Actually, uh, speaking of, I will be RB as well, but I'll leave audio and all that, so keep doing what you're doing. So basically, long story short, we all gonna die. Oh yeah, no doubt. Oh yeah, totally. 100%. At least I took out the sword. That's all I'm... Yes. That's all I needed. That's cool. We done did. As far as it goes, Shintar was perfectly content to just, you know, up and leave, but, you know, now he made it personal. <laughs> I just don't know why he hates us. I don't like, get we didn't do any For once, we didn't do anything, and we got attacked anyway. Yeah. I think he just doesn't like people being around. He well, could be I a Redditor. think he needs to get over it. Oh, yeah. He could be a Redditor. It probably is. Most likely. Do you think he's hiding a neckbeard under all that armor? Well, let's see now. Oh yeah, most likely. <laughs> if he's got like one of those like chainmail hood things going up, then yeah. It's rooted itself down to his loins. That's the main reason why he doesn't get out. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Back to fighting the uh Neckbeard Redditor White Knight. <laughs> yeah. Just give myself a uh, little bit of chocolate here. Okay. I'll unwrap the chocolate. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got those coffee candy things. I forgot mm -hmm. I had those for like months on end. Yeah. All right. You hit him with a 23? Yeah. Nice. You can hit him then. Ah, sweetness. Let's see, that's uh, 1d12 plus 4. Whack. I was about to say, move to where you need to be. <laughs> and, uh... Eat better! 
metal axe and so <laughs> Go ahead. I'm just imagining instead of being a contemplative warlord. <laughs> he's instead just like a fucking neckbeard with a katana. <laughs> oh women are queens! I mean I'm the one who did a rugby sports tackle like a shed. He's the one who sent a flying sword, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, there you go. <laughs> Chads versus nerds. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, it is your turn, Beth. All right. I did have a plan, but because the suit is like, for some reason, uh, really strong, that plan won't work because the DC save is strength. So he still has a. He still has a uh, disadvantage to strength. He's just like buff. Yeah, indomitable. What is that? As you can tell, he studied the blade. Mm -hmm. right. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> it was right there in the book. Oh right, okay. <laughs> indomitable is a fucking fighter stuff. Gotcha. Ah. Oh my god. Okay. Um, Look, I'm just trying to make him a villain so you guys don't feel bad about murdering him. But he's cool. He's heresy. <laughs> you know, mister, at first, we wanted to come warn you that there were a bunch of people that wanted to kill you, uh, and then you decided to be mean. We just wanted to help. Why are you being a jerk? Are you trying to appeal to him mid-combat? Yeah. Well, he doesn't respond. Okay, uh, Outridge Blast. <laughs> mm. Cool. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, does he have some spell shit? Oh no, he's he's pretty uh pretty bad when it comes to spells. Oh, there's no. Yeah. Um Eldritch Blast, hundred and twenty feet. Yeah. Plus six to roll. So it's twenty plus six. Yep. Okay. Home to being a warlock, the Eldritch Blast all the day. <laughs> you. 22. Do I hit? <laughs> okay. That's good. That's nice. Well, technically, he's already on the ground. So you can't hit him. Okay. So you do only hit the warlord. Because Kozak's already dead on the floor. I knew mm -hmm. you're resting. I am merely resting with my blood leaving my body. <laughs> yes. What is Kozak uh, doing? Alright. And is that six the damage? Yeah. Wait, I'm just so rolling as well. Six? Um... Since I'm down, Hex is no longer on. Just remembered, sorry. <clears throat> well, that's important to state because I didn't know that. Anyways, yep. it's Drake's it's turn. A, it's a concentration thing, so uh, if I go down, it goes. Drake would like to step on your body to attack him. Oh. <laughs> Do 
because this CR2 Drake is, uh, oh, <laughs> and can he, I think so, is it, mm. no, the last one doesn't, okay, oh, he only gets his bite in. Oh, it's a crit. Okay. Hmm. So we gotta do... Another one of these boys. But... 14 damage! Oh lord, he's losing health quick! Alright. Your turn to make a death saving throw, Chaos. Brilliant, I roll a d20, don't I? Yes. Above Alrighty. 10, it's a success. Below 10, it's a fail. Okay. 10. We'll count it. Yep. As, as, as um, Drake sort of stands on, they actually sort of plug up one of the holes that are currently bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's compression to the wound. Yeah. Multitasking. <laughs> no, wait, no one right. can heal can we right now. Oh shit. <laughs> no. <coughs> no one knows healing. Oh no. Because I updated everyone's uh, items. Mm. I don't think anyone has... <laughs> don't... I mean, I know it's useless, but I think you have some? I don't. I use mine already. The Leon hands. Healing hands, sorry. Yeah, but I feel like you have an item that gives you additional Extra. charges. Yep. No, sorry, not additional charges, no. Um, uh, the healing hands is a racial ability. Yeah. The feather doesn't deal with that, I believe. Yeah. Plus four to healing spells, plus two heat to healing items. Uh, yeah. Goose Feather, choose one of getting two additional spell slots at your highest uh, slot level. Yeah. So you get three. So it be stabilized, uh, right. that's about it. Nice! It's his turn! Um. Let's take out that paladin. <laughs> gotta gotta save the mushroom for last. So let's try and smack and crack. That's a smack. Oh. Can I, I don't think that's a crack. Can I react? You wanna react the smack? I wanna dodge. <laughs> well, no, no. Oh, okay. No, it's another creep. Oh. He gets a free DC. <laughs> oh. It's only one. Oh. Uh, Alright, fine. You only take nine damage then. Oh shit, I opened you up on a different bed. Now it is your turn. I'm sure you have that. Hmm. Rude. <laughs> Remember, if you leave, he gets to smack your bottom. Uh. Let's see. He's a warlord for a reason. Well, he is a warlord, but he's wearing armor that's made out of metal. I also hate to be that guy, but you also oh, have no. hands. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> he's also a dumbass human wearing metal. <laughs> hmm. A bit of a dumbass Wait, human has mine wearing like, leathers. Can I, uh, can I put the lightning knuckles on? I know I've only got nine damage, but I, I just want to see if this works. Is 
Eldritch Blast considered... That's force. Lightning damage? Oh, it's force damage. Oh. It's pretty hard to resist an Eldritch Blast, put it that way. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, did, did, did I put the lightning knuckles on? Yes, you did. You got I your knuckles. I punch. I, I hope to turn... Yes, I want to try to turn his armor into a Faraday cage. <laughs> Let's see. Actions. D20 plus 5. Bam! Motherfucker! <laughs> yeah. Oof. Technically, you don't do damage to yourself, though. That's true. you don't hit. That means you just don't hit. <laughs> you don't hit so hard. It's almost funny. Huh. You know, something occurs to me, guys. Yeah? My species evolved with their eyes on the sides of their head. That could be fucking me up, you know? Probably. <laughs> Yeah, I've got problems with depth perception. I can't respond. Okay. Wait, if your eyes are on the side of your head, that means that you're no one, that you were never a predator. No, I decided to say fuck that and become a predator. Oh, you see, religious zeal and common sense seldom go together, so... Okay. If you hold me one at full health at a distance he can't hit you yet. <laughs> I can the only thing I can do is blast. You gotta blast him. Yeah, I Eldritch Blast again. Eldritch Blast. Mushroom Blast. It's good. Go ahead and hit him. Hey. hey. That means hey. you get to roll an additional d10. Seventeen. Now you're doing damage. Hey. So you'll just blast him right in between his little armor cuffs. <laughs> and you just like sear his armor. Sword hand. Sword shoulder. And he's a little bitch. <laughs> Drake's turn. Let's go with that oh so lovely Drake bite. Okay. That's a hit. And that's a hit. And that is underwhelming. <laughs> so with a bite and a slap with his tail, he does off 11 damage. Nice. All right. And now it's time for your lovely roll again, Gas. All right. I can't do anything else while I'm basically bleeding out, can I? Not yourself, no. Yeah. No, well, At any point in time, Nick or even Drake could stabilize your wounds, but they've chosen no. not to. Well, I rolled 19. Oh, wait, I can? I thought I oh, used Oh, yeah, you can stabilize my... them. Oh. Stabilize isn't a healing thing. It basically just, like, 
stops him from rolling death saves. I think you also have blue on hands. He doesn't have to you? roll anymore. Yeah, you also have blue on hands, didn't you? He used it all. Oh, right, okay. To heal it. himself. Ah, uh, gotcha. Well, I rolled 19, so that's two saves. Nice. Two saves, only got one more to go. I just start breathing a bit more, like, uh... And then what is it? You heal up to one? I don't know how it exactly works, for sure. Because if I can then get up and move, I would very much like to, there's some shit I would love to do. Okay. Um... Hmm. Okay, according to Player Handbook, uh, after rolling three successful death savings, you do not recover hit points, you become stable. Oh, okay. uh, meaning you don't make saving throws, but you're still unconscious. Yeah, okay. That's In which case, like he just thrust rest. his sword back into you. Yeah. Maybe I should be extracted. You're not dead, he just kicks you in the head. Maybe I should be extracted from a danger area by Drake. Alright. I'm just imagining. I need to get out of here. Nick just throws you at a wall on the other side of the room. <laughs> Here's your crack at me. Go, I'm They're okay. done. Oh wait, I might still need this. I just pick you up by the ankle and sling you over my shoulder. <laughs> I mean, the other thing as well is that my sword is technically out of my hands if you ever want to give it a go. What are you doing? What do you mean? Oh, piss. Hmm. But mage hand! It wore off, didn't it? Uh, it's also concentration if I'm not it's not it's not it's conjure con it's a duration of one minute so ten turns yes it has been a minute is it oh, fuck, really yeah. been through ten turns shit I mean you guys were doing it before oh right yeah, yeah. time's a little faster out of combat anyways yeah. uh warlord torn Let's get to the thorn. Where are you? Oh. Right. Can he speak? That's a whack. Do he do? No. Alright. Can Nick live? Hmm. 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 How does that make sense? Oh, that's how that makes sense. Okay. The answer is no. <laughs> is that all you got? Oh, wait, there go my organs. <laughs> I have to imagine. It's just... Ah, wait a second. That's what death is. <laughs> All right. Well, it's your turn to make a death saving throw, Nick. Oh yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the death saving club. I don't know if I'm taking a good luck. If I have, I'm sorry. It's been a minute. What roll do I make for that? The straight d20. Uh, just to twenty. No modifiers. All right, you succeed. You've gained one good boy token. Ah. Collect three to not die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Flying sword's turn. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait. Are you? <laughs> hold on. Are you? You don't want to do that. Why not? Because I asked nicely. <laughs> Please. <laughs> But it's not your turn. <laughs> and I it also has an. <laughs> but the lady asked nicely. The flying sword has no charisma or intelligence. What does it say? Do we know? And why does it fly? It doesn't. It's just. 
a thing. <laughs> I will say as well, there is something you can probably give a go that you have there that could be quite useful right now. What? How you know, little buddy? Hmm. Let's put it this way. Oh. Someone is... about Bentley? No, there's another little dude. Let's put it this way. Someone's stunned and you have a ring of death. I, I, I know. I was going to. Good. Mm hmm. <laughs> uh, well, Flying Sword needs to sword you first. Its attempts at sword zing have failed. Oh. Okay. But he does have to move here to do so, so. Alright. And. Yeah. That's it. It's your turn. Okay. Remove hat. <laughs> oh. What the frog doing? What the frog doing? What the frog doing? I feel like it's like an opening cutscene like GTA where like, you know, it zooms in on the frog and it's just like doing something, then it goes back to like what it's meant to be doing. It's sitting on a stool. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is it ringing some good tea? No, it's just staring off into space. Hmm. <laughs> You lift your hat. The frog sitting on the stool stands up and walks up to the tiny microphone <coughs> that is in front of him. <coughs> what happens next will astonish you. Hmm. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I had this going on in the fucking SMP chat with someone just constantly going, no. I, I, I have not escaped this this entire fucking day. I am low key tilted. Fuck you. <laughs> it's my Chill. favorite sound effect. It's a good sound effect. I've heard it about 50 fucking times today. <laughs> Would you prefer? No. <laughs> I've also heard no fuck off like fucking 20 times as well. <laughs> Don't ask why, just know what I have. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what's that save that needs to happen? Con 16, I believe. Con 16. That's. That's a throw. Wow. Okay, he's deaf as fuck. Stunned. <laughs> oh, okay. he's stunned as hell. Stunning. He's, mm. Wait, he's stunned? That's what it says. Go yeah. the rushing ring out where they stun everyone but the wielder at the beginning of Oh no. Well, I mean, the sword is deaf because it's sword. Yeah. But man controlling sword. But it's. Yeah. He can't concentrate anymore. You said he was controlling the sword. Okay. Wait, so he's containing spirits by working with the spirits? What a dumb I mean, enemy. He's just a little bitch. An enchanted flying sword. Anyways, let's see if Drake is gonna die. Oh no. Of pierced eardrums. Oh, that's bad. Mm. Wait, who has the off? <laughs> All right, well, Drake doesn't. <laughs> Warlord does. <laughs> He's now stunned. What do we do? Okay, I'm sorry, Drake. I'm glad you're not hurt. Um, We need to start pulling them away. I want to run over to the Warlord, and I want to put the Ring of Death on him. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can... Can you go that distance? Yeah, you... Well... You can go, like, here, I think. No, you can go here. Um, okay. 
first cast, make your last saving. Well, not my last, maybe. I could still fuck it up. You could, but I have faith in you. Are you sure? Wow. <laughs> wow. Really should. All right. Take a death tick and sit the fuck down. Exactly. As, shit, as shit runs over, like they just kick me. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that I... frog scream really bothered you, huh? Yeah, my ears are just bleeding. No, I, I find it fully canonical that Stuart took the opportunity to kick you in the head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know why I deserve this. Peasant. I just want to help. How Peasant. dare you die in the company of a king? <laughs> I'm not dead yet. Oh, <laughs> give it time. You're actually mumbling. I'm yeah. not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Will be. Take me back to the cage. Uh. <laughs> All right. Um. Warlord. So there is a unstunning. You have to just hope he doesn't unstun himself, because otherwise. But oh, we would have uh, uh, at the beginning of the battle. Yeah, magic yeah. beating. <laughs> Followed by a magic yeeting. Alright. Surprisingly, he doesn't because he has a huge fucking con. Flying sword, however, unaffected by this. I just and everything else, it to seems. Perform the chop. I just realized something about being a deaf too. It technically could be used to heal both of us. <laughs> they keep failing. Not the sword, the fucking. D and D Beyond is just like being an out. ass. What's your? Oh, you actually do get hit. Okay, that's no. a surprise. And huh? what? It... And fucking crit fail. Wait, I got hit. You got oh, hit no. for a two. Oh, oh wait. Rebuke. How's your puke? This is the first time I've been hit this entire game. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Cause you don't go into combat. <laughs> I don't have to. <laughs> we die so you can live. <laughs> you also haven't uh, used your halfling nimbleness. The what? what? I thought that was just auto use. Well, kinda. It would come into play. I would use it if you could, but. Where is it? All the way down on your creatures and traits. You can move through the space of any creature that is a size larger than yours. Yes. So theoretically, you could have scrambled underneath that large shambling mound and went out the other way. Hmm. Oh. Theoretically. But no one in their right mind would run towards the enemy. <laughs> well, I'm not in my right mind, am I? Anyways, Hill's Rebuke, what does that guy do again? Uh, How does Stuart cast Hill's Rebuke out of curiosity? Since you know, there's always different flares. Like, Alexander had to fuck you. I like... point at it and scream. Uh, okay. <laughs> Much less angry, just more. Ah! <laughs> it's advanced, I feel threatened. <laughs> you point your. Wait. One reaction that you take in response. Okay. Yeah, Hedgebeak is great. <laughs> Roll a 2d10. Yeah, it, it's great. Genuinely, I fucking love this spell. Uh, make make a, a, yeah, dex, dex save. save? Dex save? Dex save what? Dex save 14. 14? God damn it. <laughs> Alright, 8 damage. damage to the sword then. You somehow managed to fire the sword. All I right. mean, in the, in the process now. of blacksmithing, this just really fucks up the sword anyway. Now it is your turn to ring of death. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I want to go, like, over here, 
ring of death him. Do you put it on his finger? Yes. Okay. Uh, he he gets ringed of death. Nice. And then I want to stabilize Shintar. Nice. Do I still have an action? I think that's all your actions. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Drake's turn. He would like to drag Kozak over here. The good time. And then you get to make your next throw, Chaos. Okay. Don't die. I'm. I mean, look, it's easy to have done. Trust me. Yep. Stop. <laughs> I just need to be Cease. stabilized. Now two and two. Flying sword, go. Can it? No. <laughs> Alright. Your turn, Beth. Go. Alright. Can I attack the star sword and stabilize uh, chaos? Uh... Can I mage hand and stabilize? Hmm. Stabilize is a action. So no. So you can do one or the other. I'll stabilize him. Okay. Are you... So stabilize is a medicine check. Okay, you I didn't do one for Shintar. No. So do I need to roll one for both? Yes. Okay. Which one are you doing first? Uh, I'll do Shintar first. Okay. So that's just a straight 20. Well, d yeah, whatever your medicine is. Yeah, it's a zero. Wait, wait didn't you have something to help with that? Do I? Hold I don't on. No, I thought you did, maybe not. Wait, shit, I just realized something. Actually, no, it wouldn't help, don't worry. No, you don't have anything that would help. Nick has, like, broken staff bit or whatever. I do. Or you do. Okay, so the 14 is Shintar and the 19 is Kozak. Alright, they are stabled. And Drake biteth a sword. <laughs> Thank you, Drake. Does Drake get... Nope. Oh. No. <clears throat> Can he stop fucking that up? Not really. All right. Um, he tries to leap for the sword, but he misses. Oh, that's okay. That's okay, Drake. And now, damn sword hit. It do be like that. Sword do be like that. Mm -hmm. It do be like that. You've been hit once again. Ooh. Can I hell rebuke again? I think it's a one time thing. I thought it was a two time thing. Was it? Um. I mean, yeah, she oh, has two a... second level slots. Oh shit, yeah, you could. No, I then I don't want to use it. Huh. Alright. What would you like to do, if anything else? No? No, okay. there's nothing else I can do. Okay. Well, what do you want to do anyway? Because it's your turn. Your turn? <laughs> yeah, I'll just mage hand. Alright, you grasp the sword. It no longer can attack. Uh, 
uh, you win, I guess. Yay! Like Are we swing. technically out of combat? Theoretically. Cool. I want to take my scepter and I want to start bashing it against the sword. <laughs> <laughs> With homocycling, it should be pretty brutal. Alright, yeah. You have bashed the sword into nothingness. Okay, these two. Yes. How do I get them alive? Can we just like wait here for like well, hours and have a long rest? Because they're stable. Yeah. Uh. A stable creature that isn't healed will regain a single health point after 1d4 hours. So, after two hours of waiting, they will regain. Do you wait? Yeah, we'll wait. Alright. This was like, well, you just be like, you're my friend, Stuart. Thanks. Hmm. Wait, hold on. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Drake, you keep an eye on them. Make sure nothing happens. Okay? I'm gonna go get the get the dudes. I'll be right back. I'm talking about, well, I feel good. Ugh. Whew. That was a rough Man one. Out of 31. <laughs> hey Shinto, are you okay, bud? Good gonna whiz red. Yeah, I'm seeing a bit of red too. Actually, let me see out one of my eyes. Eh, that'll be fine. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're a good dragon, ain't you? That, that guy was a bastard. Yeah, <sighs> I don't know he's actually uh, dead. Acolyte, can you, can you help hmm? me real quick? Sure. Do you remember my friends? I've seen them before, yes. Oh, is this not one of the ones that was with me earlier? No. <laughs> oh, uh, do you know where the ones that I was with earlier are? Sleeping. Oh. My friends need healing. Can you help us? Oh, sure. Thank you. Asian Tor. And the Acolyte. Mm hmm. Follows. This guy ain't dead because he's got the ring on. Now here's the thing. If we take that off and I stab him, he's dead. And he won't have a chance to react because, you know, I can automatically just hit him, you know? Yeah, I guess. You want to take the ring well, off and stab him? I mean, we could all... Oh, hi. Hey. <laughs> Good lord, what happened here? Uh, guy's a bit of a bastard, there was some ghosty shit going on, and, uh, you know, I charged him, blacked out for a bit, and now I'm here. A lot happened. Thank you for your help. Of oh, course. Yeah, oh, I can see again. Oh, that's great. <sighs> uh, back to Wizard Yellow. Yeah, well, wait, actually, just one more <sighs> thing. Uh, can someone just, like, hold him down really quickly, or someone else take off a ring, and I'll just stab him in the head really quick? I just can sit on him. The ring? I was about to say, Don't I just sit on him. Yeah. Okay, take off a ring. And I'm basically just going to get my scimitar ready. I take my ring back. Alright. I win. I mean, I kick. I, I win and then I kick him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> you take the ring off and you just hear, what the fuck? Before getting smacked in the side of the head. <laughs> You just hear a stiffening <laughs> crunch. Because I hit with a six on my unarmed attack. <laughs> I'm a strong fuck. Okay. Like, I think. Do I. Can I roll to even decapitate him? <laughs> you know what? Sure. Roll a 20. <laughs> it, it's fine if I don't. I just want to see if it's a possibility. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't decapitate. It's just a loud crunch. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's the loud <laughs> What even? I want to say since that's a one, you don't even kill him. Oh, is he just in pain? No. Just... No, you do. <laughs> that was a decapitation. Saya is fine. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. When you are unconscious, like, basically like that, you do get, like, instantly critical hits. So that's technically 12 damage. But, yeah. All right, he's All dealt right. with. Whew. Oh. Did you say? Did you say that he so, has a big fuck off sword? He wasn't dead. Long yeah, story. He was basically stern. Put it that way. Wait. So that means the acolyte walks over and peers inside. You managed to kill him. Stuart did most yeah. of the work, but yeah, he started it. Like she was he the MVP here. Yeah, yeah, no, this guy's an asshole as well. Like, you know, I, I'm just saying. We tried to be nice. We wanted yeah. to talk to him a little bit, but then he attacked us. I tried showing yeah. genuine interest in his sword capabilities. You know, I like my swords too, but now nah, this guy's just an asshole. He's an anti-social prick. Ugh, I quickly steal the sword. Yeah, he was just mm, hoist myself up with the sword. I even helped him contain a whole ass demon, man. I. Ugh. Wait, demons. Oh yeah, demons. Oh yeah, yeah don't go in that room. Something in there. <laughs> or do go in that room. At your own peril, of course. Look, if you want to see, I'd say best of fucking luck. Just... Can... What do you mean? Uh, Can I go through his stuff? Uh, I don't know where it is, but just look around. I'm sure you'll find it. I really wouldn't go in there. Yeah, I also wouldn't go in there just to say, like... It's kind of fucked up in there, I but, mean... you know... It just looks like a room. I, I don't know, Shintar, Where'd you put the demon? Oh, we'll bless like a... the room later. Right, sure. Why did it sneeze? Oh yeah, I'm just looking down. Like, am I fully healed up, or like, am I still a little bit fucked up? No, he spent like the past hour or two oh, just nice. chain healing spelling you guys. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Do I need to like pay you for that? Like, healing got a little overheal. Hey. When you like pay you or something for like the healing, like you know, like exchange of goods and shit. Oh, believe me, the death of our enemy is good enough. Oh, okay, so it's like a mutual exchange. Okay, gotcha. Um, uh, before you leave, I have one very important question. Hmm. I have this empty spell scroll. Can you put a healing spell on it for me, please? Oh yeah, she got one too, actually. Certainly. Can, can you do it for me too? Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, that's very useful. Yeah, actually, that's really damn good. Um, yeah, can you do anything with a want... level 2 one as well? Let's see, you have a third and a second. So we will add... Hmm. Third... <clears throat> Oh yeah, I think we also all use some of our stuff in the battle. Um, we just like take over his room and rest him there for like, I don't know, eight hours or so. Yeah, we need to sleep. Yeah, it might be a great idea if we actually uh, take a rest. It's been a while, I think. Uh, the Acolyte, you all are more than welcome to use our beds at our outpost. Right. I mean, I'm cool with Certainly you'll be safer yeah. there. I mean, it's important to cut us over there. I'm just up to everyone else. Do we want to go down there, or...? Uh, You guys want to go, like, go down to the apple, so just hang around here for now. Um, I think I want to investigate his room. Yeah, I kind of want to do that as well, actually. Um, this board Ooh, colors. Existence. Yes, it this is board. iron and it is heavy. Heavy, okay. Um, 
right. I'm, I'm gonna. Have... There was a lever on the other side, right? That's what oh, he yeah. pulled. Yeah. Yes, um, he pulled the lever on the other side. Uh, he just phased through it. Yeah. Can I pull the lever with mage hand? You certainly can. What does it do? The port. Well, the port cutlass opens. Okay, I just walk through then. Yo, keep Ooh, it up, nice. boy. Come on. Ooh. Yeah, come on, come on. Thank you. No problem. Oh yeah, myself. and since he's dead, you guys have earned level ups. Hey, ah, we'll get to that. Or free items if you'd want. It's fine. Oh I've God. added cooler items. I, I, I need my level five. I need my extra attack. No. I, I, I also I need, need my. Yes. Oh, one moment, too. Yep. Yep. I'm a bit busy on stream now. Yep. Just um, you need it. Sorry about that, my mother uh, just need me to um, call the phone. Um, <laughs> worry about it. Anyway, let's go. And <laughs> cooking with mushrooms, an extensive guide to safely not dying. It seems he wasn't actually kidding about cooking mushrooms. Hmm. There you go. Well, that's a level of irony. I'm going to go rummage through this corpse of stuff. Is this just a room with a rug in it? It would appear so. Cool. What can I see through this porticullis? You see what appears to be a small ward well, not small, but like a wardrobe. Yeah, okay. Is there like a lever for this thing? There is. On my side? Yeah. Can I pull it? If you'd like. Then I pull it. Neato. The uh, poor cutlass lifts. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. We get. Needless to say, the snake, uh, not actually saying Guten Tag, attempts to bite you and fails miserably because you're made out of fucking stone or something. I step on snake. <laughs> Don't step on snake. I step upon Snick. Now oh, piss off, you long bastard. You step on Snick, dealing <coughs> four damage. You have now pinned Snick to floor. I just have me a quick look around. Yep, looks like a room. Uh, oh, other than the Drake. <laughs> How could oh. we forget? He seems friendly. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just sitting pretty close to a fire. Maybe a little bit too close, some may say, but I'm just sort of sitting there warming up. Mm. Toast! Can I, can I pick the snake Toasty. up by the head? I, I just want to try to grapple snake, yes. I just want to tie it around the table leg until I can leave the room. Alright, roll your uh, athletics to grapple snake. That's a plus six, so... You have grappled snake. <laughs> I just I just tie it around the table leg real quickly. <laughs> you tie it like a Disney snake to the, the table leg. The danger noodle is now a danger knot. <laughs> danger noodle. Don't bite anything until I come back. 
And then I take a piece of meat out of my ration pack and try to make friends with the other drake. <laughs> Roll animal handling. Is she a wedded or a Shintaro? Oh. Oh, shit. Didn't hear a door open, so I think he must have gone through the open way. Do you think he needs help? Because we should probably rest, <laughs> nah, right? He won't. Yeah. The Drake takes the meat and kind of pulls it back to the corner and eats it while looking at you suspiciously. Hmm. I kind of just shrug it and then I turn my attention to the thing in the middle of the room that looks like a moon. It is. Huh. It is a moon. It, is there anything else significant about it? It glows. That's suspicious. It's moony. Hmm. I wish to use divine sense. It appears to not be aligned good or evil. I just sort of poke my claw at it and like try spinning it a little bit. It rotates freely as if it's levitating via magical means. Hmm. I just walked back through the portcullis. Hey, Cossack! Stuart! I found something! I thought we were gonna rest I for a bit. I thought we were resting. <laughs> Alright, do that then. What, you're not gonna rest too? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> you guys can rest. Alright, what'd you find this time? A moon. Right. <laughs> That's a hey snake. Hey guys, I found the moon. Uh, that's a snake. Okay, just keep going and you'll see it. Okay. <laughs> I can't speak of animals, I just go, so, uh, how does it happen? The big one tied me to a table. Did you attack the big one? Listen. <laughs> Did you attack the big one? I'm a... Of course I attacked. Okay, well look, how about we have an agreement where we don't attack each other, okay? You know, we don't attack any of us because we don't want to hurt anybody here. You know, he gave he gave permission to the other thing over there, you know? Fight me. What? No, I don't want to fight you. Why, why do you want to fight? I don't want to fight. We're going to be friends. Once I get off this table, all y'all are dead. Yeah, well, why about just hang your head off right now, huh? What are you going to do? <laughs> Well, you're a snake. You're not going to do anything. You can be friends or you can be dead. You're not going to win this. I, I want you to understand there is no situation in which you are going to come out of this alive if you try to attack us, you know? I will poison you. I don't feel poison. Watch. And I basically just punch myself in the head. I don't feel that. See, you're so stupid you hurt yourself. But not in confusion. I did it as a point, you know, like, you're a snake. You literally got less intelligence than me, and that's saying something. Yeah, and you're made of flesh, which I can eat. You're made of flesh, too. I can eat you. No one has ever eaten a snake. Do you Cossack, want me to- you stop arguing with the dinner already? Yeah, that's a dinner, you see? The term dinner, we can eat you. Do you want us to eat you or not? Do you even want to live? You know, let me ask you this. Do you want to live? Yes or no? I will eat you all. Oh, motherfucker. I'm just gonna get my scimitar and cut his head off. <laughs> Alright, roll the hit. It's technically, like, what, restrained? Well, it is. Okay, um, let's see. <laughs> I, I have advantage. Um, good. Uh, double lead scimitar, it's a plus seven. Um, <laughs> three, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All you have to do is not crit fail. Well, that's a twenty-three. Um, okay, so the first damage is, um, one, mm, 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 mm. Wait, that much? Yep. Don't okay. roll ones. Well, don't worry, I also have a backswing, but I'm assuming I maybe don't need that. You've lobbed the snake's head clean off. Before I do, I just say, any last words? Bite me, and then he dies. I then take a bite out of it. Just for the sake of it. There you go, I beat you. You fucking happy now? 
the dead snake does not respond. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, I'm so sorry about that other Drake. Um, I, I'm sure you are cool. <laughs> the other Drake does not. He doesn't respond. No. Oh, damn. Now I got to clean that thing now. Hold on. No, but I untie. Yeah. I, I quickly. Oh, excuse me. Thanks for doing the honors. Me. Yeah, don't worry. I just worry. untie the snake and then clean it up for Stu. You've made snaky stew meat. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Nice. Snake stew. I just want to go up to the other drink, like, hey, bud, you can talk to me if you want to, you know, like, I'm just saying, like, you know, we can hear each other. No. Oh, this will be those bad people in days. But you just spoke to me, or a girl, you just spoke to me, you know, like, your no is technically a yes, you know what I mean? They continue chewing. You want more meat or what? I just want a friend, man. The drake peers over their shoulder and eyes you. I didn't even More meat? I could get you some. I mean, there's a whole fucking snake there as well, like... Probably some giblets on that. Bring me more meat. Yeah, sure, I'll bring it to you later. Also say please. Can you say please? No. No, no more meat then. It goes back to chewing its meat. Yeah, that's what I thought. That oh, just sounded like rude. What? Oh, you have a moon. I shout for the. I don't know! I just found it! It spins! <laughs> it spins! Can I do a check on this at all? Like. Spinny it... moon. Is there anything I can do to, like, see what it is? Sure, you I can do have... Arcana. Arcana is... Perception. It... Investigation. Is it Faith I... or Undead? No. Fuck. Okay. In that case, I'd like to roll the basic Arcana. Fucking hell! <laughs> nice! How many ones have I rolled? This is bullshit! It's oh, magic. Oh, you're not a halfling. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Stuart, tell me what it fucking is. Alright, I did an investigation on it. Go f the 19? Yep. Well, it certainly is the moon. It appears to be the moon that orbits this planet. The only planet that is currently known of because mm -hmm. space travel is not option um it spins freely and you can look at all the moon craters and whatnot but it doesn't really seem to do anything i mean it's magic what about the little what about the thing that it's in? The little sundial notches? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's just that. Just a little rigid pedestal that it floats freely above. You it's kind of can... divoted in the middle to kind of... Like, half of the moon is kind of sunken into it. Is there, like, a mm -hmm. dark side on it? Well, I mean, I would assume underneath is pretty dark. Okay. I just don't sure. You don't think this controls where the moon is in the sky, do you? No. No. Can oh. I do an arcana check to make sure? Sure. Oh. Well, it certainly is magical. Yeah, it's magical, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's really magical. I wonder if it could do that. Like, should we spin it really fast and see what happens? Like, I don't know, we get like a tsunami. Do it. Yeah, alright, I'll spin it. I'm gonna spin it. Alright. You spin the moon. Yep. It spins. How long for? Quite spinningly. Maybe like a full minute. 
now. We'll see if I anything think it's happens. Broken. Think it's broken? Yeah. No, Wait, no, how no. broken? Oh yeah, no, that's fair actually. Nothing did happen. Oh. I mean, should we just like break it fully then, or? No, no. It might oh, be for okay. the other people. Oh right, yeah. So just like leave it here for they now. They were really nice to it. us. We don't wanna. Yeah, they were nice, but also they seem to be assholes sometimes, with like, you know, all the undead shit, so... Eh, well, they are healing us for free. They are healing us for free, but also that feels like an abusive relationship. It's fine. <laughs> if they try to do anything, we can just kill them later. Yeah, I guess. I do like the healing, though, but I do feel like I could do a bit of a rest, I, or... You know, the old magical capabilities, you know, I could probably do a yeah, bit of a yeah. sit down. Let's, let's go take a nap. Yeah. I'll see the moon again and then leave. <laughs> you just get some cover like, guys, a moon is falling from the sky! <laughs> what did you guys do? <laughs> <laughs> Japan uh, is up. gone. <laughs> oh, nice job. Good thing we're down here. Yep. So we're, we all want to take a little rest, eat some snakes, you and or take a load off for a bit. Yeah. Why don't we? Yeah, yeah. sure. Ooh, I think we've yeah. done enough dying for one lifetime, I suppose. I mean, yeah, that's the thing as well. Like, Y'all have died quite a bit. I mean, I'd like to think that I helped. By, you know, taking that first hit and, you know, making that guy be like, oh, god damn, you know, we're actually kind of strong. You know, like, wasting some of this stuff. You know, I feel like I knocked out a bit of his vitality, you know? Do you think so? I don't know. I like to think so. Everyone gets a long rest. Woo. Yay. Nice. Recover your expended sauce. Oof. When I wake up, I just sort of look around. Yeah, we've been through that door yet. I just sort of stand over here. Oh, I think so. <sighs> that door keeps opening for some reason. Hmm. Like, not even lore-wise. I don't know why. I've clicked it to close it like six times now. Alright, is it trapped or unlocked, or...? <laughs> you want to just say it's a straight-up open door? <laughs> yeah, we'll just say it's an open door. Okay. I'm I, I do? Nope. Oh. I want to do something real quick. Mm -hmm. Can I look around in this room for a hidden door? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, yeah, got to be uh, yeah you can. Oh, yeah, you have something to um, look in. What's it called? You have advantage. I do. Yeah. What, what would that role be? Oh, that would be perception. And, and the, yeah, perception and investigation checks. Yeah. Investigation, maybe. So do I roll it twice? Yep. Yeah, for advantage. Fifteen, you do not find any hidden doors. Damn. Okay. I just peek my head into this room. It appears to be a room. Hey guys, it's with a, many uh, beds. Yo guys, it's a bunk room. And with a chest. Open the chest. I want to open the chest. Uh, we both open the chest. Woo! I hope it's one of the new items. I think <laughs> it would be funny. Imagine we get that crap we were talking about. No immediate oh dear god reaction. Oh. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Now, is this just put on or is this an actual oh no? It's a no, it's a no no. What is it? Oh. 
it is one of the items that is certainly going to not be good. Mm. Huh. So we open the chest. What do we see? For me. Okay. For me. Oh. <laughs> it's not a good thing for me. You open the chest. What do we see? You open the chest. You open the chest and you find a goblin. Okay. Tied up. <laughs> I untied goblin. <laughs> you have taken... You've snatched small goblin and chaos cuts its binds. Are you okay? <gasps> they couldn't hear you. Oh, I'm fine. Hey, what's going you on? Okay. Okay. Do you need water? The hell did you find? Found a goblin. <clears throat> How long were you in that uh, chest for? Like, uh, are you okay? Were you always in there or did you just like poof in there? Because that's what I'm really curious about. Like, you know, is it just like random things of these? Like, why do you remember? I don't remember anything. Okay. Do you remember I... your name? I hand small goblin uh, my water pipe. Hmm. Remember your name, Small Goblin? No. Okay. <clears throat> um, you wanna like come along with us or? I'm gonna name you Tim. Who are you, Tim? <laughs> Tim. <laughs> Tim. <laughs> Do you like that name? You have obtained. Him. Like, is Tim an actual item Tim. or just a companion? He is a companion now. Right. Tim right. will accompany you, much like the other pet <laughs> that so, you Tim. may find. Yeah. Tim, what are you good at? Well, I'm, I'm good at finding items. Oh, okay. What, well, like secret things? Or just like things in chess, like, you know, things that people don't see? Or what? Yeah. Tim is actually an item I can add to that's inventory. Yeah. Nice. Is it basically a loot detector? <laughs> well, a small well, goblin with a small rucksack. He has a 1v10 <clears throat> chance of giving you a random piece of loot. Oh, oh nice. Ooh. What, like every time we enter a room? Basically. Alright. He's a loot generator. That's pretty <laughs> good. Alright, Tim, you let us know if you see anything, alright? You know, when fighting happens well, just stay away from the whole bad shit, I'd say. You know, like maybe go to like another room or something we're already yeah. being in. Yeah. Alright, cool. Speaking of other rooms we haven't been in two yet, we got a few more around here. You have obtained the combo. <laughs> Alone, he is simple. But if you obtain another item, whatever you do, do not use it. <laughs> what if we multiply? Oh, and and Tim can uh, equip items all the same. Okay. Can we multiply Tim? No. Here, Tim, I want you to have these toad mugs. <laughs> Tim has you obtained. See me take off my hat. Make sure you put on the earmuffs. Tim has obtained toad muffs. I'm gonna. Can I? Uh... <sighs> Yes. I was gonna say, that hallway, is it meant to be open or closed? It's supposed to be closed. Okay. It was open, but yeah. Okay. Um, can I take a look at the door and check the traps? <coughs> yeah. 
Alrighty. Uh, my investigation is a plus four. Let's see if I get another in that one. No, but finally a fucking crit! <laughs> Tell me everything about this Great duel. Channel. Oh, we're gonna drag them here. Oh, and we're gonna say Tim Toad Mops. And then we're gonna go down to Stuart. And we're gonna get rid of Toad <laughs> There we go. Alright, so you critted? Yep. Tell me everything about the store. And shit. <clears throat> Let me get to that door. Mm hmm. Do -do 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 -do. It is a rather simple looking wooden door that mm -hmm. is not locked at all. Okay. Is there a trap? No. Okay, I open up the door. I've opened the door. Oh. <clears throat> There's a frog in the door. Hey, Stuart, there's another, there's another frog down here. It's being chased by a canine. Maybe? I know, actually. Are they being chased? No. They're All just right. frog dog. I pull it out my hand. Come here, friend. The dog jumps at you. Oh. That's fair. Come here, other friend. Do you grasp dog? Sure. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Grapple check the dog. What? But he jumped at me. Yes, and you need to hold him. So you need to make athletics. Is it too aggressive? No, it just wants to jump at you. Okay. Hmm. The dog hmm. knocks you to the floor. Uh -huh. Just for the sake of it, may I please cast Speak of Animals? Sure. I just want to say, how y'all doing? I'm trying to dress like both ways. The dog... Uh... He's zooming. Who? Oh. You have a bit, boy? Hello? Oh. Dog teleports through the ball. What? <laughs> what? There's a donkey. He gra he grabbed Stuart and teleported. Uh, what you doing there? Uh, what? That's what? Okay. <laughs> I, I I'm seeing the dog. Like, hey, what you doing? It barks again. Oh my god, is it a fucking big dog? <laughs> Do you want to break its grapple? Oh god. No. Okay. I just go down to the non fluffy one and say, What is happening? Uh, I can speak with animals. Um, can you take me back to my friends? <laughs> Mushroom speaks? I do! Oh boy. <clears throat> what dog have to say? Adventure! Oh no. Okay! <laughs> oh no! Adventure! Oh, and I hold up my spear. <laughs> he blinks over here. Wait, what? What in the hell? Oh no. 
I'm just gonna go up to Frog's Ape. So, um, what is your friend doing, my friend? Huh. To be honest, I thought it was just a dog. Oh, right, so you're not friends with him, you just follow the dog, but now it just goes through and it teleports places and does shit. I mean, we've been in here for a while, but... Oh, right. That's, oh. He hasn't done that before. Yeah, that's oddly weird. Um, oh, also, I should probably mention to you. Um, down in the dining hall area, we got a bunch of other frogs over there and shit like that. If you want to go and, like, eat, st eat things with them, you know, like... You know, there's a little collection of people down there. Or if one of those things is actually kind of collecting them around, but just for I'd pass the information on. Oh. Yeah, uh, I've been like just given like exact ways to go because you know, being the drift oh. out of shit, I can give that direction. You know, you take you take that uh, wave and you go down that way. You keep going by that thing. You then you go by the other dead thing, and uh, yeah, you're there. You've teleported to a very strange location. What? Before teleporting right back. Uh. Uh. Where did I go? I don't know, but you didn't like it. They don't teleport back here. Oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> Doggy, uh... where were we before? Dog, take friend to good place. Hey, um, hey, puppy fella. Um, what? What is going on here? Oh. What? What? Oh. You, you, you blinking and. You, you're like going left, right, and center, and disappearing, and things like that. Oh. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Other friend I talks too. I. I, I hide. Uh, what? <laughs> you hide? <laughs> from the dog? <laughs> I, do, I don't know what's going on, so I hide. Alright, so hold All on. All I can you... do. Yeah. All I can do is just, you know, look at these things all confused like, so I just sort of wander off. Yeah. I, I just sort of approach it. I just sort of approach it and say, hey, look, so. Make pal, another oh, check. Oh, God, fuck. <laughs> Dex what? save? Wait, uh, Dex save? It would, be, it would be an athletic. Oh, athletic check. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're trying to not get tackled by a dog. Or at least be controlled in my shit. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold you on. Have, you have grasped dog successfully. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Why do you mean happy place? It's a place for happinesses. The fun, okay. Hey, what? How about you take me to that happy place for like, I don't know, 10 seconds or something, and then we come straight back, okay? I and mean, then I'll give you something to eat, yeah? Food. Yeah, I'll give you some food if you can take me there for like, I don't know, 10 seconds or so until I say, you know, we need to get the fuck out. Because I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, my friend. Can you do it for me? Take to good place, then food. Take to good place, bring me back to this he place, then food. Oh, shit. away. What? Happy. Okay, immediately looking around, okay. what the fuck is this place? He blinks away. Can I do a fucking history check or something to see if I know anything about what the fuck that is? It was too quick. What do you mean? I said wait for- I said wait- Okay. You take me back really quickly for like 10 seconds and I'll give you even more food. Mm, you know, too tired. Me... And he okay. falls asleep in your hands. Oh, oh god. Oh. Alright, there, there. I, I just give it a little pet. Then I just like sort of Put a piece of like my um, rations, like some dried meat, up to its nose. See if it will take it. Come on, boy. <laughs> what is happened there... to the frog? Oh, I sent it to the Dan Hall. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Come on, take take with your boy. Come on. I'm true to my word. So. But the dog is very asleep. Okay, I just sort of keep a hold of it, not really knowing what to do. Like, 
And then I just sort of put the jerky on like his, on like his chest. Like, I guess this is it now. Well, I mean, it's not a combat encounter, so you guys are good. Okay. Can I do any form of history check, check to like consider what I saw there? Uh, an altar. Can I do a hit? Can I do like a? Hmm, let me see something really quick. I, like, here's the thing. I have an excellent memory for maps and geography, and you can always recall the general layout of terrain, settlements, and other features around you. So, would I be able to exactly recall what I saw? Mm. Bear in mind, I have that excellent memory and ability to, like, be able to, like, know shit when it comes to the actual layout. Correct. Can I basically just think, okay, it's all that shit, all that shit. And can I do a check to see if I know what it is? I mean, you recall the layout. You can make a check to see what it was. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what check? Could be history. They fiend or undead? No. Oh, fuck. Uh, let's see. Uh, 11. Alter. Okay, Shindar, the happy place is an altar that, in my mind, looked a little bit fucking weird, which, dare I say, it might just be the thing that, you know, we were looking for. Oh, did you? Yeah, no, that's the happy place, which is why I kind of wanted to get this dog to basically bring us there as opposed to teleport us there. So this dog is the key. Alright. Well, let it rust then, and pursue it. I mean, that's the thing, it blinks, like, you know, teleports in and there, so we need to know where this thing goes in order to actually get there. So... Hmm. I mean... Okay, let me check something. Here, I've got an idea. So, I cleaned up that snake, do I still have its skin? Hold on. Yeah. Nice. So what do you do with it? I'd like to try to fa uh, fashion it into like a snakeskin lead or something like that. Okay. You've uh, created a small crude lead. Alright. And uh, I'll just hang on to it until I think the... Uh, Dog's about to wake up. All right. You know, be a while. I mean, the dog seems pretty tired. I think I should just hold on to it for now, as you know, we go sparring and stuff. Yeah, that's cool. Just backup plan. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll just sort of like you know keep a hold of it. <clears throat> I, I guess I'm the dog babysitter. Um, where to? Well, there's several doors we haven't tried yet. What about one of these? Right, sure. Can, yeah. Can we see if this one's trapped? Er, let's check that real quick here, there. It's a perception roll of memory serves. Yep. Hmm. It's not trapped or locked or okay. anything. Open sesame. Oh my. Huh. <laughs> I hate fucking. I'm gonna go there. Everything okay? In... Uh huh. Oh. Yes. We're fine. I just keep a note. <laughs> the brown bear, which is obviously just a straight up bear. Mm hmm. Roars at you. Okay. Quizzically. 
Oh, okay, speak of animals. I cast it. Ha! Ah. Even in its plain language, it's still just making bear sounds. Yeah, can we get a drink? The bear, using its paws, kind of grabs it between its two <laughs> and clumsily places the entire bottle down on the counter. Alright, I just take a seat and I toss, like, you know, two gold over. Here's. I just take a seat and toss him another two gold. You know, this is, is the... Chaos carrying the dog? Yeah, I'm still carrying the dog and I'm like holding the other drink in my hand. So like, I've got like the dog in like one of my arms and just drinking from the other. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was probably one of the less weird things we've seen, which really does say something, doesn't it? Then where are you going? Why is the bear tender? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's too easy to just say. I just I just tried to check the bear again. It's like, so uh, how'd you come down here? It continues to just sound like bear. Oh, okay, I get you, I get you. Yeah. I mean, you know, you like what I'm doing here? Agreeable bear noises. Yeah, fair enough, man. You know, I gotta ask as well, you know, like, what's some of the stuff that you recommend as well? Like, is it what I got right now, or, you know, some of the other stuff? The bear proudly pats on the barrel next to him. Oh, right, okay, how much does that cost? Um, you know, tap the table for as many times as it takes to pour gold for it. <laughs> the bear is confused by the shiny money. Oh, what? You don't even need to be paid, or...? Uh, I'll you have one of those. Yeah, sure, but... Uh, can we get some of a barrel? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a dog menu or anything like that?
Okay, I am back now. Let me see. So the bear, uh, patting the barrel, being asked to get some, uh, he doesn't know how to open barrels, it seems. All right, do you mind if I open it, or, like, am I okay to, like, come over? Bear noise. Agreeable bear noise, or a don't do it bear noise? Nature check. Fuck. <laughs> Insight, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I mean, insight is still wisdom. Um, animal handling is also wisdom, so it's just still a straight 20 roll. 19! This bear is very guarding of what is behind his counter. Mm -hmm. Alright, fair enough, my friend. Uh, if you want to, I could open it from up over here, if you want me to. Um, I have a way to... Uh, do it all magically and stuff. You be down for that? Like, I don't need to go behind there, just like you might see a little magical thing opening up. No. Here. No? Okay, fair enough. It's good. It's all good, man. It's all good. Oh, hey, Drake. Drake and Goblin. Yeah, Goblin hey, how you doing? Drake. Oh, hey, by the way, uh, sorry to ask, but you don't have like a dog menu or anything, do ya? Like, you know, like a doggy treat kind of thing? The bear that's down another wine bottle. He doesn't know what any of those words were. Right, okay, thanks. I just will push it to the side now. I'd Wait. pick up the wine bottle and start drinking yep. it. What are your things? I uh, really appreciate it. Or uh, feel free to use that gold as well. Just get yourself a little bit of extra stuff if you need it, you know? Is there some like, really good shampoo and conditioner around here or something? This has been a pretty dirty bear. Hmm. Is its fur like the hair I saw in the bathwater? No. Okay. We still don't know. Hmm. I'm still pondering that as I hold on to a dog and drink. I guess we're mainly waiting for the dog to sort of, like, wake back up. The dog will not wake back up for a while. Right. <laughs> Assuredly. Fair enough. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think, really. I mean, I don't know if there's, like, you know, there's the other way we can go around here as well, with the uh, moon and shit like that. Um, you want to take a walk out there, maybe? Or the other ones? One... Two... Two. Shit, where are they? You're right. Did I, did I miscount? Only two. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, we're no, we're fine. Okay. Where are you guys going? What are you guys doing? Uh, I was basically saying, like, you know, we could go back to that moon uh, place and, um, basically maybe just take a look up there, see what that other door leads to. Yeah, if you think you can use that for something, you go right on ahead. Yeah, I mean, those temple people thought that there'd be some evil shit up there, so we could at least take a look up there and if there is evil shit, you know, we could say we didn't see nothing. You know what I mean? I suppose. Yeah. Uh, sure, what do you think? Or should we head up there, or...? Yeah, we can. Yeah, all right, hey, all right. Tim, do you know anything about the moon? Thing up there? No, not really. Mm, okay. 
grudging like magical items or anything like that, Tim, or uh, not really your uh, wheelhouse, so to speak. <clears throat> not really uh, anything up there, I heard. Oh, what, like absolutely nothing up there? Like, not even anything of interest, or. I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. I put it a chest. You know, that's a very fair point. You know, we just always see a few weird things going on, like, you know, we have... When we first came in here, we had a pretty friendly spider, which was something. Um, there's like a whole sect of, like, you know, bad religious people and shit like that. I don't know, there's a lot of stuff going on down here. I like, this is only, like, what, the first floor of all the shit we're going through? I was not allowed to say, uh... Oh yeah, Tim. Very important. Never say a word that can be considered a rhyme, okay? I, I, I'm telling you this right now, do not ever do that. Trust me. Yeah. Alright, cool. Um, well, I think if we're all having our drinks done, then we could probably head up there for a bit. And so we'll turn to bed and go. Well, uh, thanks again, friend. Uh, I'll be back later, if that's all right. I just want to start getting up and taking the bottle and dog with me. You have obtained dog bottle. Bottle and dog. Opening door. Yeah, so I guess we'll start heading back up over there. I, I'll still like keep holding on to the dog. Um, I just oh, yeah. To yeah, I was just say to everyone as well, like, so what happens when we get into a combat situation and I'm just holding on to a dog? Like, should I just, like, put it down for a bit and then, like, you know, do my killing and shit and then take it back up? That's and... up to you. Yeah, it's just like, you know, I don't want to be the guy, you know, who's just, like, sitting in my back, like, yeah, you can do it, you know, I'm not really that great of a cheering part. I'm pretty good at the whole, you know, killing part, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really good at this caretaker, you know. Anyway, where are we going? To the moon, right? Oh yeah, the moon, right. Shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. I'll start walking on over. Tim? Drake? Is this door open? It is now. <laughs> that door is openable. Oh, okay. Oh, this is just a bathroom. Okay. Alright, so this door over here. So I'll check it when anyone else wants to here. You can go ahead and check it. Sure, sure. Um, I'll do a quick investigation check to see what it's like in any traps. That's okay. Sure. Right you want that door? Yes. I it's really... unlocked. Oh, and I also wrote an 8. I probably don't see any traps. No. Right. Uh, just for the sake of it, I go and put my dog on the table, like, alright, well, you'll see it there, yeah? Just so that way it's not in the range if there is a trap. And I open the door. Sure. The door opens. No problems. Okay, I take a peek in. Um, I think we're good in here, actually. Uh, seems pretty, um, pretty empty. Uh, there's four colors. I go ahead and grab the bag. <clears throat> Alright, I make my way through. What's the portacullis made with? Portacullis is made of wood. <sighs> Does there appear to be a... Ah, God, excuse me. Is there a lever or anything like that? There is. We use lever. Wait, actually, is lever... on the... Wait, hold on, hold on, before you do that. Is it on our the side or the other side? Pulled. Okay, is it on our side or the other side? Our side. Okay. I'm gonna put the dog back over here and say, now, the thing is, it's probably keeping something now. 
Right, of course. Just like everything else in this place. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a peek around. Just take it easy, I'd say. I move carefully through the hallway. Big sword in hand. <clears throat> Nada. Oh. Okay, I'm doing an investigation check. I want to see if there's any secret shit here. Alright. There, there's gotta be fucking something. No, I refuse I, to I believe wanna... that this hallway is pointless. I'm gonna investigate too. 23. Alright. Investigation. Investigating? Secret shit. Well, I want to investigate the moon room, but I'll do that after them. Yeah. Okay. Hey, All you right. better go with your roll. I have a negative one, so. <laughs> Come on, I think it's okay. So, you start patting down the walls, looking for whatever might be. And there does seem to be some looseness. Oh. I just sort of accidentally stumbled through you. Huh? Um, can I open the door? <laughs> that should be openable. Oh, shit. Okay. This is new. You ready for the next door? You might as well. Okay. I'm pushing open the recently wallpaper. Well, not recently, but like wallpaper over the door. You come to a disheveled looking storage room. Hey, hey Sue, or uh, grab a dog, we found her another room. Okay. You wanted to investigate a moon? Oh, yeah, yeah take a look at the moon room, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Come on, dog. What you find is pretty much what you've learned before. It doesn't seem to be bound to anything, certainly not the moon. It just seems to be a free-spinning model of the moon, with surprising accuracy. <laughs> what if you break it? You'd probably I mean, end up destroying the world. I was about to say, do you want to break what you might think is the moon? It'd be a pretty cool thing to be able to say you can do, break the moon. I have destroyed the moon. Hey, Tim, can you come in here real quick? And Tim has wandered into the room. What shall Tim do? Well, I'm pretty sure there's something weird about this room, but I can't put my finger on it. Can you help me? What can Tim do? Can you look around see if you find anything weird? Tim will look around. <laughs> Tim find item. Hmm? What'd you find? Do you he finds a small purse of gold. It must have been left behind by the owners of this place. That's a fair point. <laughs> Do you mind if I take that, Tim? Go ahead. Okay, thank you. How much gold is in it? It is 250 gold pieces. <laughs> <laughs> I have 13 gold. I don't even know if I have any or not. Mm. Nope, not a damn. 
Well, thank you, Tim. We better go catch up with the others. Yeah. Meanwhile, at the disheveled place. Yeah, what do you find? Alright, well, um, there's a door right here, and it seems to be closed. Let's see if it's trapped. I wish to roll perception. Alright. Is this cheese? Oh, no. Oh, boy. Or I believe that could, in fact, be cheese. That is boxes of cheese, yes. Are they rotten? They are quite, uh... Quite, uh, quite old. Yes. Mm. What about the boxes underneath? There's more cheese. And also rotten. Yes. Yeah, that, that don't look good to me. Have we been through here yet? Hey. Don't think so, no. Um, I mean, yeah, uh, Shinta, if you take a look at that door, I can take a sneak peek up here if you want me to. Go ahead and go through. Ah, sure, sure. Does my door reveal anything? Your door reveals that. I drove this in the can. That was a 20? Yep. Yes, it is a trap. Oh. Well then. How to disarm? Slide a hand. Slide a hand. Alright, I'm going to try and do that. A proficiency if you got thieves to Hmm. I don't think I do. Then it's a no. Well, Hint, it was nice knowing you. <laughs> We're just walking <laughs> by and we just hear like a crash. Um. Beauty wakes a dog. <clears throat> so it gets to do that. Hey! Oh. Actually, hey. Wow. Wow! Hmm. Rose, shoot out of the door. <laughs> Hitting you for a mighty five. Is it... So it just sort of stabs into the, uh... Into the shell, then? Yeah. Oh, uh, t damn it. Shinta! Ah, look like a reverse porcupine now. Oh, oh god, yeah. Yeah. Is it was trapped, huh? Is the door unlockable? The door can now be uh, unlocked, yes. I unlock. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Where have you seen this before? <laughs> hey, uh, it calls like you. Yeah, yeah, you want to make an introduction here then, or? Oh shit! Uh, all right, I, I, I put the dog in the other room. I'm like, <clears throat> no, I maybe. Somebody, I only got so many charges. Okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna close this. I, I mean, look, what do you want me to do here? The bear like... attempting to attack you during <laughs> that little encounter fails to do so on both attempts. <laughs> Does it just smash into the door as soon as I close it? Uh, yeah. Okay, um, can I... It smashes do... into the door. Can I... Huh. Okay. That's unfortunate. A bear's intelligence... We probably shouldn't... Go a ahead. Little just a weak little black bear. Oh. Hmm. A bear's intelligence. Well, in wisdom. With intelligence. Uh, I mean, unless we want to kill another bear, um... We probably shouldn't go that way. Don't worry, got a plan. Um. Okay, open the door a crack so I can see it. I mean, you can try if you want. I'm just oh, saying. Alright. 
All right, just watch out for the dog in the other room. Um, I just start I'm... trying to pluck the arrows out of my uh, shelf. Yeah. Um, Drew. Why is Chaos muted? Yeah, I was about to say, you're muted, boss. I didn't realize I was, fuck's sake. Anyway, uh... uh... <laughs> nice! I was saying things like, hey, maybe what I could do is open the door, hex it with the with a weakness to wisdom, and then cast animal friendship. Can I do that, Drew? I you could. Alright. I'm opening the door, wow. casting hex and casting animal friendship. Alright. And you need to be a wisdom 13 save, but at disadvantage. Door open, bop bop. Animal friendship. Yeah, now you have bear friend. Yeah, that lasts 24 hours, so... I, I basically just like, do that and then I just start go, going and shrieking with bear. Like, hey bird, how you doing? Hair jumps at you. Oh shit! Ah! <laughs> Damn it. What do we do? Can I kill it? You can try. Okay, I, I want to punch for fucking. I want to punch for fucking hair. All right, go for it. Okay, I got a plus Roll seven. To, I got a plus seven to punch. A fucking punch. The yep. hair has surprisingly more armor class. Fucking hell! Amazing. You failed to smack the rabbit. Yep. That just, just sounds sort of, rude. It just sort of sails by me like, oh shit. Got a rabbit on the loose! No, it sinks its teeth into you. What, another one of those? Yeah, it's rabbit, I swear to fucking Christ! Once it sinks its teeth me, can I punch it again? Tim, can you find anything in this room? Negative, boss. Can I punch it? I appreciate I... the effort. It's ripping my face off, can I punch it? Yeah, go ahead and try to punch it. I want to punch a fucking thing. Punch it. How's that? You punch the rabbit in the back of the neck and snap it. It falls to the ground. Oh, yeah. fucking Christ. Oh, dear. I should go back to um, petting my new friend. I might if I just slip by here. Yeah. Oh, no, don't worry. He's running now. Don't worry about it. Well, that's good. Hey, don't worry, bud. You can go lay down again. It's all good. Mm. I start intrinsically eyeballing this chest. Spinning the wheel of shit that's in a chest. <laughs> Spin the wheel. It's another goblin. With my luck. You too find a small sack of gold. A small sack of gold. Nice. Another two fifty added to you. Ah, excellent. This floor is taking a lot longer than I thought it would, but I probably should work on the second one. <laughs> Big dungeon. The entire campaign is going to be about three or four of these type of dungeons. This was originally supposed to be smaller. Hmm. I blew it up like two times room scale. Fair enough. Anyways. Finding 250 gold. Now you have a bear friend. Well, 24 you hours. guys seem to be... <laughs> you guys seem to be obtaining friends at a rapid pace. I was like pretty happy with that. In fact, you've met multiple friendly bears now. Oh yeah. Oh, I still take comfort with. Hmm. <laughs> I believe we shall end it here. Nice. Yeah, yeah, after yeah. defeating the warlord. Yeah. In that case, we'll do our leveling um, off um, stream, and uh, yeah, we'll be that stronger.
But um, yeah, Sounds I guess. Like indeed, I guess that's it. Uh, anything to say before we end up? Uh, who knows what'll happen to Blink Dog? Yeah, we, we'll fucking see. Like, I'm just gonna carry it around with it. You're just gonna like fucking wake up and be like, friend. <laughs> Like just in the middle of a battle, it just teleports. God, imagine in the middle of a battle, it just teleports a bad guy. You can use them like that. I don't want to, though. <laughs> hey, Warlord, catch. What? <laughs> Boink. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, dear. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyway, uh, in that case, uh, I'll say bye for now. So, see ya.